Good morning, and welcome to uh, Explore Tokyo. Uh, just first off, I want to say thank you very, very much to William Krause for Super Chat before I started this. Uh, and to Ram, I have seen a couple before I started streams too. I just uh, really appreciated uh, to William Krause, so thank you very much. Um, so with that, uh, let's start off the vlog the best way we can. Uh, I just found a new beer, it's from Suntory called, uh, what is that, Magnum Dry? <coughs> it's 6% alcohol. Hi Jackie, hey William, Cindy, uh, Cassie, good morning, I will, uh, it's a new beer. I just went to Family Mart and I got it here. Uh, but also, you know, in uh, William Krause's honor, um, <laughs> I couldn't make up my mind, William. So, uh, doing it the Tokyo Drew style. Uh, we're going to do a lot of walking today. My voice is actually better, even though I, I sound bad. James Suazo, hey, thank you for joining. Uh, let's open this up. And uh, Shogun, how are you? Uh, I'm actually going to pour some of this out. Hey, Mambo, how are you, man? Um, I just don't want to pour it out. So I poured about almost half out. Hold on, I'll be back. Because like I did with Shinichi, hey Jackie. Like I did on Shinichi stream, uh, last time I was with Shinichi. This is how I drink whiskey if I'm gonna mix it. I'm gonna take a whole freaking Mickey. This is a uh, 500 liter Coke, half and half baby. That's all it is. And it actually tastes pretty good. Um, pretty good, eh? So yeah, um, that's gonna go into the bag for later. Just cracked my first beer, cheers. Well, I'll cheers you in a sec, William. Denise, how are you? Or Dennis, Denise, which one? Um, how many we got in the chat already here? 24 only? Let's keep going. Let's get some more. Get those thumbs up. <coughs> I'm trying to learn from Mickey how to uh, only have like 20 or 30 people in, but have like over 200 likes. So that's pretty cool. She was, uh, she hit 5,000 subscribers. Freaking amazing. I just, I can't wait to get there. I, I put a poll on the community tab. Um, who's that? Drew, not sure. Wolverine, about time you got here, I was talking to you, brother William. Oh, Denise? Okay, it's a girl. Okay, thank you. Well, thank you. Um, it's hard to read the chat, uh, a bit small. Um, but William Krause and William Logan, um, this is for you, William Krause. William probably just grabbed a beer. Oh, so to all of you, I hope you enjoy Explore Tokyo today. Uh, I am in Weno in a back alley, go freaking figure. Um, I was going to work today, but then I decided not to. Um, just need an extra another day off. Uh, and I apologize, um, just last night, I think the medication I, I took really got me kind of bleh, so I couldn't do the train wreck, but I'll get there one day. I'll, I'll get back. Uh, hey, Amanda, how are you? Uh, so yeah, come by. Cheers. Oh yeah, looky loo, 10 day holiday, okay. So, um, yeah, not sure uh, where I'm gonna put this, but I'll just throw it there. Now, I am uh, in an alley, kind of, well not an alleyway, but close enough, I guess you could say. Oh, is Ryan here? <coughs> Weno Station would be right behind me. And uh, the reason I started here is, uh, hey Ryan, how are you bro? Good vlog this morning. Thanks for saving me the drive. <laughs> Going to Weno, Drew, yes, love it there. Hey Colonel Keith, I hope, Tim, how are you? Uh, whole different double meaning. 
But yeah, check this out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start walking. Uh, well, having a smoke and a beer at 11.30 in the morning. You gotta like it. Um, but just before we start, um, 10 day holiday. We had 26 shows because of your holiday. Damn, 26 shows, eh, Ryan? That's a lot, man. Um, so yeah, we're gonna walk over. We're gonna walk over to Kapabashi. It is a kitchen area. Hey, John, how are you, man? Nice to see ya. And um, actually, I'm gonna step away from here because I hid evidence. Um, and then we're gonna hit Asakusa area again. So that's pretty cool. Hi, Tomoko. I'm at work, just say hi. Well, hello. Uh, I will, I've been slow on the vlogs. Um, for all the TD crew members, I apologize. Uh, being sick sucks, man. Um, and then next week, we got something special happening, but I'm gonna keep it a secret. But I'll see you, Ryan, next week. Oh! Nothing wrong with the beer for the first thing in the morning. Nothing wrong that if you're off work. No, I am, so, hey, May. Hi, Drew from Hawaii. We'll be definitely going to Kapabashi when I get to Japan in two weeks. Do you think you would like home-baked goods? Absolutely. Hell, you want to uh, go for beers? <laughs> Let me know. So I'm not used to standing in this area. Um, and uh, yeah, once I finish my smoke, because I don't want to be smoking and drinking while I'm walking. Um, but yeah, you know what, it was really funny is, I was here about a month ago in this street, um, and I saw this pretty wicked, oh, here it is right here, actually. Check this restaurant out. It's called, I don't even know what the hell it's called, but it's basically a meat store. It looks pretty cool. And it's just beef, tongue, chuck eye, roll, flap, ribeye roll, strip loin, tenderloin, all kinds of uh, stuff. They're getting ready for the lunch, obviously. Some nice prices there. <laughs> $38, $28, 20 But how can you go wrong? Meat and wine and beer. Like, seriously, that's freaking awesome. And then, yeah, this is uh, basically how we're walking. That was my ledge right there. So, I actually wanted to go down this little alleyway, but maybe it's not worth it, I don't know. But maybe it is. Let's go check it out. This is Explore Tokyo, after all. Uh, from Honolulu, Hawaii, and I'm always in Japan. Awesome. This is what I love about little areas. Even though the main road is right ahead, you know, we still... Like, check that out. That, that's a... Kind of like a snack bar. A snack bar that's open at 11 o'clock, 11.30 in the morning. So these are all like little snack bars, it looks like. Yeah, beef is good. Beef is good. So I'm walking out to the main road. You, can, you can't see the highway, but it is. <laughs> Sorry, don't drink. I'll catch a stream when I get there so I can meet up and give you some goodies. Well, we can have coffee too. I do drink coffee sometimes. <laughs> now I'm walking on the main street having a cigarette, so that's a no-no. And there's police over there, so yeah, I gotta stop. It's the cops, it's the cops. Give me one second here. I'm smoking behind the cops back smoke no the smoke police are actually different people they really are and they'll give you a $20 fine if you're smoking somewhere but I couldn't find a smoking area anywhere at all got rid of the evidence so I'm good to go yeah so I'll just turn the camera around show you exactly what I'm looking at watch out five nothing <clears throat> I'll come, kind of come around the corner here. Bank. So again, Weno is over here. 
you know you, you know you're in Wenham when you see that orange thing you can go upstairs the state that's the station area that's where I wanted to start but because we're going straight down this way we might as well uh, start here so 48 50 oh I see you guys are counting how many people are here well I do appreciate every single one of you so thank you for joining 5-0 Hawaii I love Hawaii 5-0 freaking awesome show oh now 46 47 <laughs> oh well and the cops are standing right here and I'm drinking beer cheers cops cheers boink 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 book them Dano right yeah please hit the thumbs up people I already got a thumbs down what the hell <laughs> but this is bueno guys all right let's go uh, walk across we're gonna hit a few uh, interesting points along the way um, so I hope you enjoy get rid of all these people as we're walking down this street it's not gonna be that busy which is what I like oh man I wish boiled nuts was here there's nothing real William nothing it truly is an amazing country for cleanliness so basically if you want to go to Kapabashi more police wow no pandas at the zoo so you can see right there that's Weno station and uh, Amiyoko Cho which I love also is way over there oh thank you William cheers thank you sir and you walk straight down this street this will lead you straight to Asakusa on a 20 minute walk 25 minutes depends on how long you walk stingray Steve you give round eyes a bad rep with your smoking and drinking um, maybe and round eyes though come on wide awake do you work a Kiowa or ALT I work a Kiowa so as you're walking here you will see over over here is a bike lane um, not the greatest bike lanes it's probably better to drive on the street or ride on the street <laughs> I should be on the other side because we're actually gonna hit a shrine on the way which a very small little shrine but uh, hopefully you'll enjoy yeah boy that's where are you man I, I hope he's really well he's sick I know that and uh, I've talked to him in an email but I do miss the guy I really do see how quiet it is what an arse for saying that I missed something that guy's kind of funny uh, an Incon shop so if you want to get your Incon made come here stamp shop they call it 7-eleven could you do a Kiowa lessons in video so I can know what I'm in for when I start my working holiday visa no I cannot I cannot uh, film privately and I'm not a teacher actually I'm a little late joining you hey Larry Hernandez thanks for joining I'm trying to read all the comments as I walk um, but yeah it's all basically nothing much here drew I'll be arriving in Tokyo on Friday May 24th I'll be traveling in Japan for weeks I'll reach out to you yes please reach out I'd uh, love to have to meet up with you of course maybe a couple beers or maybe a lot of beers John be freaking awesome another TD crew member I can meet up with it'd be my pleasure sir damn I've really started worrying about him about boil nuts we're talking about oh yeah I hope somebody deleted that comment about the round eye please 
Don't need that in my stream. It's not worth the frustrations. So I'm trying to find, uh, oh, it's a hotel here. Huh, never knew that was here. I'm gonna cross over here and then cross over. I see the shrine already. You can see the uh, Tori over there. So that's where we're gonna go first. And this here, Tokyo Star is actually a bank, but they don't have tellers. They don't have any, um, no, they do have cash service, 24 hour ATMs, but there are no tellers like a traditional bank. It's kind of interesting, actually. Uh, yeah, this is actually a pretty good beer. I'm surprised. Uh, it was, I think, about 280 yen. Uh, made by Suntory. 6% alcohol, so that's pretty good. Um, I find that, like, I'm not going to say I don't drink beer anymore, because I drink freaking beer. Um, I find that the 4 and 5% beers... They're okay, but we have beers here. And I'm sure, we, you know, you have beers wherever you are that um, are six, seven, eight percent or whatever. I find that the six percent beers are, you know, more enjoyable of a taste. But that could just be the beer talking. <laughs> and I'm waiting for Mickey to show up. I know she was live streaming and I told her in her live stream, even though I didn't want to spam her, but I wonder about that since U.S. have... Could someone please send me a PO activity information? Oh, again, have bank trailers. Ah, oh. get all the writing done today, William. Late again. Hey, Abe. Yeah, I had to leave. Uh, Chris Conkle was, our, or whatever his channel name is now, um, was streaming and I was in there because he was doing construction fails or something. It's hilarious. I couldn't hear the sound. But most of the time when I watch live streams, I'm actually on a train, so I can't really turn up the sound, which kind of sucks, but oh well. Anyways, here, this is our first stop uh, on the Weno to Osaka tour, and that is this little shrine area here. Uh, you can see like the big tori here, of course. And it's just a very small little shrine. Greetings from San Diego. Well, thank you for joining. And it's not very much to see, so uh, don't expect you know anything. Hey, Nathan, how are you, man? And that's not fair. I'm drinking coffee and I'm drinking beer. But use headphones. Yeah, I keep forgetting my headphones, though, Tim. <laughs> but this is the uh, Shit Shitaya Shit Aya Shrine. <laughs> it's a small little shrine here. And um, hopefully we'll show you a bit. It's called headphones. Yeah, I know, right? Brew shrine, I wish. So let's walk in here. It's a small little shrine. So basically, um, the Shitaya shrine. So according to tradition, the Shitaya shrine was originally built on the Weno Plateau in 730. And moved to the east foot in 1627 because of construction for the uh, Kaneji Temple. However, since the, the land was small, it moved near its present location in 1680. So this has been here for 400 years. That's pretty amazing. And it's not much. It looks like they're getting ready for something here. Um, which is still pretty cool. I know that there used to be a duck here. I've actually never been over to this side here. Just, I love coming to shrines just to see if you're wondering what's going on. That lady there is uh, coming to pray. But check this out. Like, how awesome is this? Like, seriously awesome. 63 people, that's awesome, guys. Thank you so much for joining. So that, that's a little shrine that you, there you can go to. And uh, it's all really, really cool. I want to be quiet and respectful, of course. But as you walk in here, that's it. 
How cool is this? Hey, Sandra. I'm just whispering because uh, I'm in the shrine. They don't have a lot of traditional stuff here. Um, like, you know, when you wash your hands. This here is actually a donation box. And I believe they also have, where she's praying, the donation box. So you have like one, two, three uh, that you pull and then you pray. Very quiet. And that's the main street over there. So that, that's what I like about Japan is just everything is quaint and quiet. Like, that's it. And of course you got the, the tori here and then the big orange one back there. It's freaking awesome, man. Love this country. All right, beer number one is done. Ah. <laughs> I'm on a shrine drinking beer. Yeah, go figure, eh? I see the can, the garbage. There it is. Hey, Jen, are you here? All right, what uh, Wide Awake says. As a part-time Eikaiwa teacher, would I work whole week but half days or few full days? Is it negotiable? Sorry for all the work questions. No, no, by all means, ask. It depends on the company you work for. Uh, Eikaiwa work is gonna be after sc regular school work. So for the company that I work for, we usually start, well, my teachers usually start around say three o'clock at night and could work any, maybe one lesson, up to five lessons a day. Um, it depends on their schedule and the school and could work up until 10 p.m. So basically with my company, a lot of AKI will work. Um, it's after school programs, but there are all kinds of different things out there. If you like ALT work, you're gonna work from like say 8.30 to 5.30. Um, you know, probably one location, maybe two. Not sure, but I've been with the same company for 14 years. And a lot of people like, you know, uh, they call me a dancing monkey. Um, it's kind of funny actually, because we do dance around like a freaking monkey, but um, it's all good, you know? So basically, Weno Station is down there and I'm just walking <coughs> down this way. So I just want to make address a couple other comments. Smash the thumbs up, Jackie, hey John. Okay, awesome, awesome. We've got 68 people. That's freaking amazing. Thank you so much, everybody. <laughs> now, this area, you, can you see the sky tree right there? That's the sky tree right over there. Hey, morning, Drew. Get, getting ready for work, and my two year old son is listening to this live stream and asked, Is that daddy talking? <laughs> um. Okay, <laughs> that's funny. My favorite restaurant over there, Hidakaya. Of course, you got Yoshino. You got lots of restaurants along this street too. So, okay, here comes the, here comes the ambulance. Watch how slow they actually drive. Oh, he went the other way. Okay, never mind. Hi, Miyu, good morning. Ohayo gozaimasu. This is a nice area, um, you know, Weno's busy, tourist trap. Asakusa, busy, tourist trap. But in between, as we're walking here, it's actually very calm, very nice. This is actually, um, how do I say this? For dead people. <laughs> you, you're gonna hit all these shops, or like all these um, little mini shrines for household. I think that's what you would call them. I'm not very uh, knowledgeable in that. I just, I, when I asked the Japanese person one time what those shops were, they said it's for dead people. So in a lot of Japanese houses, you have um, little shrines for ancestors that have passed and so on and so forth. And that's where you go buy those things. Here's another one. Got a 71 viewing, 72, that's awesome. Thank you everybody so much. If you wouldn't mind, could you please, uh, I love your streams, thank you so much. <clears throat> you will see all kinds of different stuff. I didn't expect that reaction, just thought I was adding a little humor. Sorry if I hurt your feelings, hope you understand, bye. All right, bye Stingray. 
And j just so you know, like, my mods, uh, I'll leave it up to my moderators as to what comments they delete and uh, up to their judgment, but they know me. And what I do on my stream is what I do, but uh, what we comment on could be different. So, some more dead people stars. This is a big area for it, it's kind of funny. But that's what we're looking at here, is these little box shrines here. You'll be visiting Tokyo next week, awesome. And you set it up. Like that's $350, that one there, right there, 1800. Look at the big difference, right? 400, 700, and then just turning down 1600, $2,100 just for that little thing there. Isn't that amazing? You can see inside all these different stores and stuff. That's crazy. Seems like a big business. Huh, expensive. And then there's another store like right here. Uh, Drew, what is that yellow? Oh, this line here is for the blind. Um, so that when they're walking, obviously they got the bumps so they can understand exactly where they're going. This is another store here. Crazy. Yeah, this is uh, for the blind people. And they are everywhere. Hi, Cassandra. And of course, you can see Sky Tree still. Brailler reading. I have shoes. Yeah, that's funny, William. <laughs> oh, look at this. How cool is that? Looks like uh, kind of like a Mikoshi style thing or they're not even open yet we have those in the u.s too in front of stores Ooh, the sky tree that's pretty cool eh yellow bumps ah, 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 ah. so there's lots of stores here um that offer you a lot of different things that's really cool Really enjoy that. <coughs> Let's turn it around here. Going for brew number two. Awesome, William. So this is kind of like what I'm walking past, you know, without you guys seeing, is like dead people stars. <laughs> I don't know why I keep saying that, but I'm, I am saying it. Real small ramen shop right there. Not many people online though, so. Hmm. I'm probably a, a couple blocks away from where I want to show you guys. Hey, Nosh. How are you, bro? Nosh knows where I am, I'm pretty sure. Drew, what is, the, what is that diamond painted on the road? It means carpool only in California. Uh, bike lane, I believe. How quiet it looks. It's very quiet here. Like very very quiet and this is between two tourist traps Weno and Osakusa on uh, the main road here and I, I'm really partial to this area um, I love Weno I love Osakusa but you can you can only like vlog so many times I guess right <coughs> I know Tokyo Lens Norm used to live here he's moved actually but um, He loves the Sakusa. It's part, yeah, I think he lived here for about 10 or 11 years. Uh, oh, there's a 7-Eleven. Should I get a beer? <laughs> I think so. More stores. It's amazing how many of these companies are in this area. Obviously, it's uh, popular uh, for these companies to be here. Obviously. Sushi store. Chioda Sushi. I've actually never eaten from here. Oh, there she is. Uh, there you go, Mickey. That was a lame one, but I'm so happy you uh, hit 5,000 subscribers, Mickey. You've, you know, you have a great personality. I love you. I'm kind of jealous. Not really, but I am. But hey, I put a poll on my community as to um, when do you guys think I'll actually hit 4,000 subscribers? be uh, pretty cool to uh, hit that so 
Let me uh, just run in here. I found a ledge. I'll get a beer real quickly, and then we'll continue on with our journey. Hold on one sec. Let's go into 7-Eleven. I want to find that. Let's see what's up. I can't find that beer I was just drinking. They don't have it. God, no strong zeros. All right, let's try this one. Look at all the food guys. Hey. 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 Come hey. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got another beer. <laughs> well, I can't see nothing because I got it flat to my chest here. And we're getting out. Found a ledge. Found a ledge. All right, oh, who is that? Oh, Logan, thanks, man. Okay, you twisted my arm, another beer, Drew. Drew beer, cheers. <laughs> Dude, seriously, you're amazing. You really are. Thank you so much. Sapporo Strong. So, yeah, I have no idea what this is. It's only 5%. Um, Freddy Foodie King. Hey, Beer Breakfast of the Champions. Thank you for joining. <laughs> Freddy Foodie King, that sounds familiar. Why? I'm not sure. Uh, why be? No food? No. Um, when I drink, um, I don't want to eat so much. Um, I get full. <laughs> and I got a freaking Coke, Coke and whiskey in the back too. Awesome one piece shirt. I bought this shirt years ago, years ago for five bucks, five freaking dollars. If anybody is familiar with uh, a discount store, I call it a discount store, but it's called Shimemura. And they have actually large sizes for big guys. Um, five bucks. <laughs> um, they have big sizes, but uh, you don't look Japanese. Um, I, duh, yeah. Really? Why would you even say that? I don't look Japanese. That's funny. Sapporo strong. So anyways, uh, William, cheers. Uh, everybody. To the TD crew, cheers. Wait till we hit Kapabashi. For any of you that, oh Ram, seriously bro, we can do it. Hit that thumbs up, it's, your, it's better than smashing your, your finger with a, <laughs> I promise it will beat me. Fine, five dollars, cost large size. <laughs> Thanks bro. Um, and I can't wait for Tit. I mean, uh, sorry, Tit. Uh, oh my God. Ramsey's silent. I can't wait for you to get over here. I don't actually call you your real name when I'm blah, blah, blah. So sorry, dude. Like when I refer to you when I'm in my back end of stuff. Yeah. Sorry, dude. Sometimes people don't want their real name put out there, right? So. All right, got a ledge. Let's continue and I'll show you uh, where we're going. I'm having a Michelob Ultra. I've, I've never had a Michelob in my life. Uh, I'm gonna uh, go up here to the light. I'm gonna cross the street because we are hitting Kapabashi soon. I don't know about actually filming inside. Did I see something about Mindy's mom? Mindy's mom isn't here, no. Well, I don't, 
I don't think everybody can actually join in, right? But um, what's the stream without Ram and Jackie and Jackie and well, all of you, really? Hirama Paper Company. Well, that's interesting. Huh. All right, we're gonna cross here, and then I'm gonna cross over again because Kapabashi is right over there. And I hope you guys, for anybody that's like anything about all kitchens, cooking, chefs, you know, whatever, you guys will love this area. And I think Tim, was it Tim the Dude or Tim the Asian? He said uh, about plastic food, yes, we're gonna show you all kinds of plastic food. And this is where they make it. True fact, what's the difference between Michelob and Budweiser? Seven days. Okay, I don't get that because I'm not a uh, American beer drinker, but... Wait, do we do we jaywalk or do we wait? Do we jaywalk or do we wait? And you can actually, I'll show you some stuff that you can actually, if you come to Japan, you could actually buy as souvenirs. All right, we don't jaywalk. Till I get back. <laughs> That's awesome. The Double Williams. I hope they know they, I think they cleaned up the store. Damn, they did too. Maybe I'm not in the right spot, but there's a store somewhere around here that is like so massively junked up, yet so cool to see. When I have a beer, only beer I drink, 100 Lawson store. Decent, cheap. It's not all 100 yen, but like, Getting two liters a bottle of uh, tea for 100 yen. Looks like you got uh, oranges or grapefruits and apples. There you go, guys. One apple, one dollar. Isn't that crazy? Oh, okay, thank you for that, uh, Looky Lou. Never knew that. The classical, I'm new here. Well, thank you for joining. To visit Japan, I learned that while most shops Required to spend fifty to hundred dollars for tax free. If you are in Kavabashi, you can pull all your receipts that total fifty or more. Oh, cool! Thanks for the info, guys. Boss. Cigarette vending machines for any of you that have never seen it before. I don't know why. Still pretty cool. Oh, this is the store here I was talking about. Look how cluttered and junky this place is, but. I could probably spend a whole day. Like, can you find the store owner? No. Look at all this stuff. I don't want to get too close, but can you imagine shopping here? Like, it's like massively cluttered. Holy Christ. That is crazy. And just like a little walkway inside and it's dark and scary. That is nuts. I'm looking at some Jim Beam glasses like right down here. <coughs> uh, crazy, eh? And we're not even, Kapabashi is right at the next corner here, so. Dig for them, yeah, exactly. Moss Burger, don't really like Moss Burger, never been a fan. All right, so we're hitting Kapabashi right now. Uh, in the thumbnail, um, the chef's head is above the building to my left here. I'll see if I can actually get it. Oh, the damn Sky Bus Tokyo Tours bus. I would never do that. But I'm gonna tilt the thing up there. There's the head up there. That's how you know you're in Kapabashi, is the start of it is here. And it's basically stores upon stores of just kitchen supplies, everything kitchen, everything cooking. It's freaking amazing. From saran wrap to all chinaware to bowls and cups and oh. It's a titan. I'm late. Oh, there's Mindy's mom. Everybody was asking about you, Mindy. Or Mary, sorry. Check out these stores. Anything and everything you want related to kitchens and cooking is here. It doesn't matter. Like, look how big these freaking pots are getting. It's amazing. 
Well, that's cool, Mumble. Like, these stores are full of stuff. No 100 yen stores. Hey, wheel row. I'll try and go as slow as possible, but there's a lot to see. This is more, uh, this is the same store actually. Hey, that guy looks pretty cool. I do a lot of shopping here. And like, you know, all the Japanese things that you're thinking of uh, taking home or wanting to get, come here, seriously. This whole street on both sides is all dedicated to kitchen stuff. And we're not just talking pots and pans kitchen mats to signage there's all kinds i'm serious like all kinds of different things here right it's, it's amazing i'm trying to get a press pass credentials for rugby and olympic events oh cool i knew you'd like this william <laughs> and then i'll go up one side and i'll end up coming back down this way but I'll just show you one side first and then uh, the other side. You'll get the idea, of course. You know, this is like a baking store only. Again, more Japanese style. Uh, they got some stuff here that I don't even know about. It, it's, it's, it's amazing. Like crock pots. You know, that's about $300 right there. Hey, one, how are you? You know, all kinds of different pots and pans, even to different style burners. Like, it's freaking amazing here, people. And all these stores. Here's, here's uh, shaved ice machines to, uh, you know, for Kakigori. And it even says, like, ice shaver there. Different style pans and stuff. Like, I'm gonna turn the camera on. You passed the famous knife shop there. I will, John. How freaking awesome is this store? So now because, um, you know, my Williams uh, got me some beer, I gotta have a smoke again. So I'm just gonna go off the beaten path for one second just to uh, have a quick smoke. Why am I whispering? I don't know, but I am. And actually this is my last cigarette. I gotta buy more cigarettes. Gotta find another ledge, I do. Drinking alcohol makes me drink, I think. Uh, and I'm standing like against a wall. Yeah, okay. Uh. Food mystery live in the house. I love these guys, you know? Very, I, I subscribe to a lot of channels and I subscribe, you know, for J Japan related things. I had an itchy nose. And I've never, I rarely do I come across channels that like I seriously freaking love. Now, Food Mystery Live guys, they are a small channel and I want to help them grow. I really do. And you've all seen them before Bill, Mike, and Peter. Uh, some Vancouver Canadian, uh, Vancouver Canadian, Vancouver Canada boys. Um, they're awesome. Like seriously, seriously awesome. I love how they do things in Mike's kitchen and uh, they're going to be on TD talk show. They really are. And I'm going to dig it right into them just because I'm a Vancouver boy too. So we just made a mess in our kitchen, awesome. Watching new video coming soon, good, good, good. <laughs> Mike is the cool guy, Bill tries to play it cool, and Peter's the dancing something. I like it when Peter tries to dance. <laughs> if I ever get back to Vancouver, guys, we're going for beers at the Camby, or at my old pub, Pub 340. Well. Let me know when you can be in, man. Like all three of you. I want all three of you though, not just one of you. So set up in Mike's kitchen, a PC, a video camera, microphone, and let's do this. You tell me when you can do it and I will do it. 
It doesn't have to be Sunday. It can be any day, any time. I will do, like with Risa, I did uh, Friday night or Thursday night uh, with Simon, <laughs> the botched OBS one. Uh, hey, Robert, long time, bro. Um, <laughs> I, I did it Sunday night, so anytime I will accommodate you for sure. I really will. <laughs> Huckaloogy. Mickey can burp. I can huck loogies and piss in alleys. Yeah, baby. All right. Let's keep going. Like me, we. Hey, Ty. It's really nice. Yes, I, I used to be a chef. I still cook, but. All right, let's get out of this alleyway here. Because eventually we're going to finish this over in Asakusa, so. As you can see, like all these stores here are all kitchen stores, which we'll walk down in a minute. <coughs> but how cool is this? Like all the signage you can get. No idea about this stuff here, but it's like little figurines, which is kind of funny. Not interested in that. Somebody said I'm gonna I have to get going, my battery is about to die. Hey John, thanks for joining, bro. Looks like a head shop. Right now we're hitting lots of uh, here's the Takaso knife shop. Well, not knife shop, but this is uh, one of my favorite stores actually. We will hit the store that I love the most, I think. Or maybe I passed it already, I'm not sure. This is a knife shop here. Ah, uh, here's my favorite store here, Kitchen World TDI. This store is freaking huge. I'm not gonna go in because they probably don't want cameras. This store here has everything. It's got a second floor. Everything and anything you want is in this store. Like, seriously. Well, except for, you know, big appliances and stuff. How cool is this? <laughs> and, it, you know, the token vending machine, of course, right? We're going to go up to the light and cross over. And we'll keep going over to Asakusa. As I enjoy my beer. Even, like, chef's clothing. Like, that's pretty cool. All kinds of different stuff here. So, like, this is the place. What time is it over there, Drew? Uh, not sure. Can't see the clock. I'm not wearing a watch. I'm not wearing any jewelry today. Different signs, which is pretty cool. I'd say it's, what, 12? Around 12 o'clock noon lunchtime here? Drew, did you watch the 11th Annual Shorty Awards last night? No, I did not. Vegetable knives. 10 past noon, okay. Some nice aprons, yeah. And like, the, I love these uh, bowls and, and plates and stuff. Like, this is, this is nice. This is what I've always, I have some at home. Um, not the red ones, but I got, I got, like I have this one here and I got the white one. Uh, you know, when you're plating up food and stuff and you have guests over, um, these are decent quality items. Um, you got all like this here. And like this store says photo okay. So So basically they just said I can come in and show you guys around. But when you come to Japan, how cool is this? All these knives. These knives here are awesome. That is amazing, eh? And you're, we're talking at least one hundred dollars, two hundred, three hundred. Like for anybody that's uh, look at this knife. Look at this. Isn't that crazy? That's that's a thousand dollar knife for cutting tuna. That's what when you see people cutting tuna. 
That's what they're using. Like, that's crazy. Lots of different stuff here. All kinds of, you know, different cups and stuff. I just bowed and said thank you to them. I didn't know this store was actually here. Kapabasha, Kapabashi Maeda. So if you do come to Japan, Kapabashi Maeda is right here. Might be, uh, it's tax-free, it does have the tax-free sign, so which is pretty cool. And I just love these dishes. I've actually bought them from different places, but I might actually uh, give them my time, just because they're, so, they're very nice people. Uh, you had an orgasm, show me knives. <laughs> All kinds of different stuff here. I'm going to cross the street. Uh, Kapabashi does go up here a bit more, but the main area is up until this light. You'll see this blue building area here. Um, I got to plan my travels here. Now, this is the store I wanted to show you guys. This is a signage store. And it is freaking awesome. Just right away, look at the store, look at the signs. Isn't that cool? Coca Cola, Budweiser, all kinds of uh, different things. I don't know if they're going to allow me into the store, so I'm going to go ask if I see somebody. But check this out. They got uh, music playing, so I'm actually leaving. Hey, Vakfang, Vakfing, how are you, man? Thank you for joining. I love it when you get into the streams. That's pretty awesome. And uh, thank you for, like I've said, all your help. Oh, the wind. I'm so sorry, guys. Um, <coughs> I do try to take your advice. Vacfink has actually helped me behind the scenes on, uh, I'm going to say Vacfink, sorry, dude, um, on giving me a lot of good advice and uh, Okay, I don't listen half the time, but I really got to like really digest what he's saying uh, because of what he does for a living. Um, and I just not very good at certain things. So, but again, Vakfing, shout out to you, man, for uh, helping the TD crew, helping me. Thank you. I always miss most of Shinji's live stream, same for most of Drew's live stream. Oh, Cindy, I'm glad you're here. Um, <laughs> That's kind of what I'm looking at inside the store here. Basically, they got a lot of uh, old signage like this. Like, how cool? How cool is this? Hi, how? Remember what options are like? Yeah, true enough. I just don't have time to change things up like you've suggested. I have tried doing certain things, but how cool is this? I'm gonna walk in a little bit. Okay, we are gonna leave because of the music. And uh, sorry guys, I really wanted to show you that. So again, um, all kinds of different uh, stores here and there. I'm gonna come back this way, but I'm gonna go all the way down and kind of show you guys uh, exactly, you know, what Kapabashi can offer and uh, what, you know, what you can actually see here. This is like a bakery store. <laughs> like seriously guys, and here's one of the first fake food stores. I'm gonna ask right now. It says photo is okay, but I'm gonna ask anyways. Kurei, daijoubu desu ka? Hi. So check out this. This is one of the fake food stores here. And this is what I'm talking about. For souvenirs, no, no me huh? Store name. Maizuru. Okay, thank you. So this store here is called Maizuru. Uh, it, it specializes in fake food. So remember that name, Maizuru. But check this out. Like how cool is this? Even the beer looks good. Isn't that cool? To so the ice cream. And this is what I was talking about here, is you can actually buy souvenirs. 
That's thirty dollars. Not a bad price. They do have like little little keychains, you know, all kinds of kitchen magnets, you know, all kinds of different things here. Seriously, K Tai cell phone holders. How cool is that? Like, really, how cool is this? Could you imagine trying to eat that burger? So, arigatou gozaimasu. And then the fried rice, look at that. So this place is called Maizara. And everything here is made out of plastic, not wax. How cool is that, guys? Like, you know, some people like it, some people don't. Um, you know, they do accept all kinds of credit cards, uh, bank cards and stuff like that. And there you go, right there. Not wax. Thank you, Amanda. Right beside it, more uh, chef's coats, all kinds of different things here, which is pretty cool. Thank you, Amanda. <coughs> More signage. And I'm not sure like how you go about getting these signs made. There is a price list up here, which is still pretty cool. My first ever fake food uh, or plastic food store was this one right here on the corner. Uh, because I remember walking by here seeing all the uh, desserts and parfaits and stuff like that. So that was pretty cool. I'm just going to uh, ask again. Camera, are you okay? Thank you. So again, this was the number one store in Kapabashi here. They actually make it in the back there. It is all fake, Bill, yes. All the beer. These are um, like little kitchen magnets where you can actually, you know, they're about uh, $9, $6, $8. They all vary in price. You have crepes and pizzas and pastas. Desserts. Like, how cool is this? It's all fake. And that's what's really cool. And like, that there is like a $50 item. Down there is $16. It all varies in price. The pastas are like $80, $90, $60. So I guess it all depends on, you know, what colors they're using and uh, they are very realistic. Good night, Jackie. Very, very realistic. And I know this store. The person actually makes them. He's sitting right there, or she's sitting right there, making everything. It's amazing. Like, how real does that look? Melon pan. Isn't that crazy? To the beef. That's crazy. Amazing. To bread. How real does this bread look, people? Isn't that awesome? Of poorly made food. <laughs> Cheese. Like, this is crazy. It really does look like a real butcher shop and bakery, right? You can get things like this for 800 yen. 1200 oh my god even down to like slices of meat isn't that awesome like how awesome is this people the crust what on oh, the bread is exactly like the real thing yeah they really go out now this is what caught my eye years ago was the seafood area like Oh, they don't have the crab anymore, but they used to have like a really big crab in the window here. Okay, this is fake fish. 
How real does that look, people? How real does that look? Isn't that amazing? And of course, beer, kampai, kampai, kampai. It's all edible, uh, not edible, no. Just got off from the class of finally lunch break. Can't stay long, but wanted to say love you all. Hi, Risa. Hi, Risa. Love you, girl. Seriously, love ya. And it's a beautiful day here in Tokyo. My voice is actually getting better. The medication that I'm taking is really working. Um, and finally, I think I've gotten over the hump of... Uh, the problem, though, is... So I saw someone buy some knockoff black my hands on and let me try it out and then I could tell by the cutting of the angle of the blade if it's true or if it's not just me. Ah, uh, hey prep for it. <coughs> so we're gonna go, uh, so I think you guys get the idea of Kapabashi, yeah? Uh, we walked all the way up there, of course. You guys have a beautiful voice. I always love listening to you. Why, thank you. This here, um, they do ship worldwide here. <laughs> we ship worldwide. Um, you know, for anybody that visits Tokyo, this really is one of the must visit areas. You know, you don't have to be a cook. You don't have to be a chef. Hey, I'm back. Who was the chef I was talking to? Like even brooms, cleaning utensils. Like how freaking cool is this guys? Ah, I'm slowing down on the beer. And it just goes all the way down. Now, we started right here at these lights and went this way, came back down, but I'm gonna turn around <coughs> and go back. How? You can even get chopsticks, a set of chopsticks for 200 yen. How cheap is that? Different, all kinds of different things. Sorry, we were closed, come back again, but they got their stuff products sitting outside. That's kind of funny. And again, it's a very quiet area. Hey, Joyce. Oh, I gotta go pee. We gotta find an alley. Um, it's actually very quiet here. You know, not to, even on the weekends, it's not that busy. Uh, people come, they go to certain stores, and uh, that's what you're gonna do. But again, you know, like you gotta be into cooking, I guess, or in the kitchen and stuff, you know, but. I bet you a lot of restaurant owners come here. What are some must-buy items that you recommend? Someone come to visit Kababachi or any recommendation? Hey, Tim the Dude. Um, oh, well, Tim the Dude is here. Stay on, stay on, stay on. I got an announcement for you. Um, there's a pig. Tim the Dude, uh, your envelope from March, which now is May, um, I'm actually doubling up, so you will be getting it in the next allotment being mailed out on uh, Thursday. So I just wanted to let you know that. That's why you haven't received the last one, because it got returned. And yeah, blah, 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 that's why. Okay? Okay. Mm. And yeah, I'll add a bumper sticker in for you, just because. <coughs> because I'm late. Not sure why this store, what this store is here. What is this? So this is something new. Oh, it looks like like little jars, but at the same time, it looks like perfume. What the hell is a perfume fragrance store doing in the middle of Kapabashi? I have no idea. But maybe it's hand creams too? I'm not sure. Oh man, that's awesome. Bro, thank you. I, I apologize. I just, it's still sitting in my bag and uh, but I, nobody's getting any buttons. I think you answered this. What are some things you recommend buying or someone came to visit? Um, are they hopes for restrooms? Well, maybe not. I think like if you're gonna come here, A1, um, you know, f some fake food might be, uh, you know, s for souvenirs. Uh, depends on what you do for cooking as to uh, what you can take home because I do not know exactly what you can buy and take home uh, per customs and all that stuff, but. <laughs> you know, like if you are into uh, 
you know, even simple little waffle maker style things or whatever the hell those things are, taiyaki, you know, just different style things like that, by all means, right? Like, that's gonna make that wafer thing. You know, that's uh, 30, 33.48. Um, I would say, like, you know, any recommendations, you really gotta figure out what you want, which means you gotta come here and take a look. So, fish wash, fish wash, fish waffle maker. <laughs> well, this is what I wanna show you guys next is, uh, I hope it's here, yeah, it is. Okay. This is the, ta I call it the takeout store. And basically, everything you want for takeout is here. Check this out. Being able to make my own taiyaki, that would be dangerous for my diet, pretty much, right? Thank you, Drew. Hi, Risa, food for life. This here has everything from your plastic bowls to uh, your takeout containers, everything. So, like, you can see all the takeout containers uh, to the old to the uh, plastic trays there. Be able to fort with those boxes, that'd be awesome, eh? Can you get some sushi? Um, Bill Koa is now off Food Mystery Live and on his own channel. Like, just get, this is where you get everything. Or build a porta potty, yeah, <laughs> pretty much, eh? <coughs> All your towels and like bulk chopsticks are, where's my finger? Right down there. Oh, so Mike and Bill are here. Okay, I get it. A hundred chopsticks, the wooden chopsticks that you get, only two dollars. Yes, Reese's mukbangs are off. Saw a guy on YouTube, guy at culinary school in China. He was left-handed and his knives are right-handed. He kept mushing up the food, I bet, right? And then like all the plastic cups, you know, like you go to the dollar store to buy, why go there? A hundred paper cups for a dollar eighty-four. These are the places that you need. Oh, you did the paralyzer video? That's awesome. Like, even all your different things and straws and sugar, like it's crazy awesome here. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is the end of Kapabashi, and I have to go pee. And I gotta figure out where, because the reason I came down this uh, street, uh, away from Kapabashi, not only did I wanna show you these vending machines, this used to be, oh, here's, you guys are always wondering, right? An actual beer vending machine. That one's empty. I don't know if I should try this or not. I wonder if it would work. Huh, it's a little bit more expensive than the convenience store and beside a cigarette machine, right? Go for it. I wonder if it'll work. I just put my beer can in there. Do I need an ID to buy beer from a vending machine? Otherwise, miners can... Yes, you do need ID. That's why I'm thinking this machine doesn't work, but... I'm not sure how it works. It's even got the old 2,000 yen bill. Which I think means it'll work okay. I don't have any change though, guys. That's the problem. Oh, yes, I do. Let's see if it works, shall we? Let's see. Oh. Here, I'll, I'll change the camera here. Oh. Now, this is what I'm wondering is, you should have an ID thing here, but we don't have an ID thing here. Oh, they got just big beers. Okay, which one should I get? Which one should I get, people? I don't want a big one. I want a small one. We have uh, not the Chu High. We got the uh, the Gold Sapporo. We got the Yebisu Black Sapporo Asahi Clear uh, thing. Cheap beer Asahi Yebisu Sapporo, Sapporo Sapporo. Everybody say the Sapporo. Okay, so this Sapporo. Jason Mante, last on the right. This one here, that's Asahi. The white one, <laughs> there's not so many white ones. 
So there's this Sapporo and there's this Sapporo. I've had this, so I think I'm gonna try this one. And you know what? You didn't need an ID card to get this. Let's get our change. Let's get our beer. Oh man, I'm gonna be liquored up here. There's 2,000 yen bills in Impractical Mystery Bill. I've never really seen it in use. I actually have a couple 2,000 yen bills um, and I'm saving them for a giveaway actually uh, when I hit 10,000 subscribers um, just because they are special and they're rarely, if at all, used here. <clears throat> this is why I came down, before I open up my beer here, this is why I came down the street here is this temple. Look how beautiful this is, guys. For my mouth to heal. Oh, okay, sorry, Indigo. This is old. I don't know where the entrance is. It's a, it obviously, you can see all the headstones here. There's a graveyard here. Chemo tr treatment tomorrow. Oh my God, chemo. Sorry, Jason, to hear that. So they're like $2 bill in the US? No, $20 bill in the US. But we don't have $20 bills really. Again, this is a restaurant now with the fake food on display. Uh, they're changing the picture, I believe, in, in October of this year. But yeah, isn't that beautiful? And you can see that, oh, William, thanks, bro. What did you say? Matching you beer for beer, why not? We're part of the Drew's Brew Crew, cheers. Okay, I gotta open it up now. Give me one sec. This shrine for me is special because they haven't, it's all weathered over time and they have not like painted it or anything like that. This is original from the time that they built it. And that's why I like this place. As soon as I find Sapporo in the stores near me, I have to have dental work. Oh no, Indigo. Oh man, now I gotta grab another one to match you and William. Absolutely, Tim. It is very nice. And you know what? If I can find the entrance, maybe we'll go over and check it out. I really need to find an alley and take a pee. So let's do that first. I don't wanna put these people on camera. We're going this way. I didn't want to put those people on camera. They were very suspect in what they were doing. <laughs> What's the draft one beer? Never heard of being a popular Japanese brand. I have no idea, Gino. Quite windy today. It is a little bit windy, guys. I do apologize. <clears throat> okay. We hit an alley. Well, I guess we didn't hit an alley. We hit a main street. I guess I'm going to have to hold it. God damn it. And you can see Sky Tree right there. Okay, I'm gonna have to hold it. No, I can't hold it. Let me let me find somewhere. What is the TD live stream without me having a beer and going pee at the same time in a freaking alley? Oh. Okay. Shh. We be hunting rabbits. Oh wait, we be hunting peace bobs. Can't go in the middle of a main street, I guess. Actually, I bet you I could go in the middle of a main street. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm just gonna put you down for one second. back <laughs> did you like the sound effect <laughs> I'm sorry I had to right do you don't have to dead cat on your microphone no I don't I'm just using my cell phone that's all I'm using I have no microphone I have no nothing 
It's just, oh my, oh my God. <laughs> Is that your first time watching me pee? I mean, listening to me pee? It's all part of the TD, TD experience, right? Did you write your name in that spot? Actually, James, I tried. <laughs> well, not write my name, but I kind of did, did a little shake and dance, you know? <laughs> well, I, I should wash my hands, right? But no, I didn't. He's using the phone, no dead uh, cat, pretty much, right? Community store and use their bathroom, you don't, don't. But then that means I have to actually, A1, go into the bathroom and take you guys with me while I'm doing a live stream, so yeah. Oh, you're a Drew P. Virgin? Oh, okay. That's about my third or fourth time. William Logan and to everybody else matching me beer for beer as I'm getting freaking liquored here. Cheers, thank you. Um, this is a 5%, it's called Sapporo something. You know me, I don't read kanji or hear gone or any of that stuff. Um, a drink that quenches your thirst and satisfies your soul. Or get you freaking drunk, one or the other. Hmm. Actually, I don't like it as much as the last one. I was giving them some Drew love, I was. All right, let's keep going. And I'm out of cigarettes. Guys, I smoke a lot. I smoke a lot. All right, I'm gonna turn the camera around. All right, so now, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna head back to that shrine for a second. Let's see if we can get inside. It is satisfying my soul a little bit. Maybe you can leave us for a minute where we obviously can't see you, just couldn't wait to hear you get in trouble or anything. No worries, A1, really, really. I'm a little bit of a bad boy. Come on, you all know that. Ah, Actually, the beer gets a little bit better taste after taste. I could take you around. Yes, I can, absolutely. <laughs> Drew pees on worse things when he's off camera. Pretty much, Bill. <laughs> I told you to get an Asahi. Oh, I didn't know that. Sorry, Ram. Everybody, I, everybody was saying Sapporo, Sapporo, Sapporo. So I got Sapporo. The start of Asakusa will be right at the end of this uh, street here. But um, I'm just want to see... If I turn the corner over here, whether I can actually, sounds amazing, we should all meet up. Oh no, the police. <laughs> oh, you guys crack me up, man. I love you guys. TD crew is awesome. And like I've said before, you've all come from different channels. We all watch the same channels. It's an amazing community that's all connected. And that's why I love YouTube. That's why I love live streaming. That's why I love being a YouTuber. It's awesome. Except for now, this is my third beer. And... Uh, okay, wait, I wanna see if I can get the entrance. Oh, no. Oh, wait, 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 maybe, maybe. Drew, where are you? I'll guide you. If you, you're looking for trouble, show me where you are and I'll guide you to the right place. Um, okay. Hello, Mary's husband. Wait. Hello, Mary's husband. And welcome to the TD Experience. A retarded Canadian in Japan, streaming live just for you. <laughs> okay, that was the beer talking. So this is, I found, I'm not sure if I can take the beer inside or not, but oh hell, let's just do it. Look how cool this place is. This is freaking awesome. And you can see that they have not kept up with all the renovation. It's all wear and tear. I can't see the comments right now because the sun is really in my eyes, so sorry. 
This is amazing. Hi, Tomoko. I'm trying to have fun. Oh my God, look at that. Wow. So beautiful. Wow. Oh my God, guys. This is, I love Japan, I really do. Like how awesome is that? Look at that. Amazing. Did I see something about Eric Sir Six in my comments? <coughs> I'm actually gonna be with uh, over there plus beer, beautiful. Isn't it beautiful, guys? I'm actually gonna be with Eric uh, next week. Uh, spoiler, Ryan Schneider Vlogs, Eric Sir Six, Critical East Japan, Paul and myself will be together next Wednesday. That is amazing. All right, let's just go this way then instead. This here is, I'm drinking a beer, I gotta, I'm hiding it actually. Uh, this is a kindergarten kind of style thing. And then these are the gates to, uh, to inside. Freaking amazing, man. Yeah, I'm not sure exactly what we're doing, Mindy. I know what we're doing, but whether we video or collab together, who knows? I don't think it's not going to be live. Maybe after the event that we're going to, we'll be. I'll, maybe I'll go live because I want to teach Eric Surf Six how to do better live streams. Actually, food might be involved, but no, it's not. Well, yeah, it, yeah, it is, but no, it's not. He will have you rate the food. <laughs> If we go somewhere after the event that we're going to, um, Sweets Cafe Tokyo. Look at this, in the middle of nowhere. A nice quaint little place. Beard shaving. <laughs> Tempura lunch set. So if here, it says here, food experience. Learn to make udon, takoyaki. And he says, hello. Katsudan. Reservation required about 6,000 yen to join the workshop. Still, that's pretty cool, man. And that tempura lunch set? This whole set right here, $18. Not bad. Some of you might think it's expensive. Some of you might not. But it's still pretty cool. All right, so I'm walking out this way here. We went into the temple over there, kind of walked in in a bit. And Asakusa literally is straight. I'm going to walk out to the main road just to guys give you, you know, give you guys a bit of a heads up as to where we're going and uh, how to do it. How much are cigarettes there? Uh, William Krause, cigarettes here are, well, this, I smoke Marlboro Reds and they are 510 yen. Um, it depends on what you get, maybe 500 yen, maybe 480. All the way down, the cheapest cigarette I think is. 360 alcohol and tobacco are cheap here and oh yeah guys by the way if you haven't joined my discord by all means join my discord try and use the same um, YouTube name on the discord so at least I know who you are <coughs> yesterday somebody by the name of JNS uh, joined on Discord, but I have no idea who they are. I really don't. And um, at least explain who you are. Go to the welcome introduction page, introduce yourself. Um, be great, you know, being a part of the community. But yesterday I actually started um, a language thing. And I think Tomoko from High Hopes is pretty much running it. <laughs> where she, uh, everybody's speaking Japanese and learning, you know, whether you use Google Translate or, you know, whatever you're doing. Um, I figured, you know what, since we are more Japan-based uh, channel, why not, uh, you know, try and learn a little bit of Japanese while we're in Discord, right? So, 
by all means, somebody please post a link to Discord and join. Because of your salmon and sushi video, mm, it was good. Hey, Bayou. I'll be in town Friday. Well, hit me up. Um, this weekend, actually, on Saturday or Sunday, I'm not sure which day, I'm actually going to be at the Thai Festival um, in your Yogi Park. Uh, probably on Saturday. Uh, BNK is playing live. Can we learn Japanese swear words? <laughs> if Tomoko teaches you, I have no idea. I'm in high school, but that was a while ago. I would definitely love to reel them. Be careful of lady boys. Um, are you thinking of Thailand? You rarely see lady boys in Japan. Very rarely. They are here, don't get me wrong. From Kababashi to Asakusa, so a long walk. No, it's about 10 minutes. Like, I'm already in Asakusa. And then one more block and I'm at one of the main corners of Asakusa, so it's still pretty cool. Risa. Lots of bikes. And this is, you know, one thing you got to really get used to here in Japan is bikes are everywhere. This is, of course, the local post office, which I want to go into. Just see if my uh, credit card was taken out. And you know what? Let's try. I'll turn the camera this way. So you're gonna find the ATM. Security guard walking in with a camera and a beer. I'll do it later. <laughs> All right, so Drew, do you find most da -da 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 people in Shinjuku? Uh, I think you are right in saying you can't tell who is. I have no idea. I don't even want to talk about it to be quite honest, day one. Hey, Buttercups, how are you? I do not swear, actually, uh, in Japanese, because I don't know how. So this here is, uh, we're at Tauraromachi Station uh, on the Ginza Line. Uh, so if you, do get, if you don't go all the way into the Ginza Station, you can get off here. And basically, I'll show you exactly where you can exit here. These guys are no bikes and no cigarettes. So this here is one of the main corners here. Weather, currency exchange, meat pictures, and much, much more. Yeah, absolutely, right? Um, if you do become a, an actual TD crew member, well, you know where you support me monthly, uh, you have access to private videos also. Or on Patreon, you can do that, and I'll add you as a private member on the website. So this here is Tauramachi Station. When you get off, you're going to come out. Basically, you're going to come out here, and Asakusa is all there. The shrine and everything is all over there. But as we're walking, I'll basically give you a... Um, so you're going to come out from here, and this is what you're going to hit, is this area here. The old, some old shops like that. This bakery is okay. I've actually bought here before Yamazaki. Not my favorite bakery though. And then you're gonna hit like lots of, uh, oops, let me turn it down a bit. Lots of souvenirs, this is a souvenir store here. Can you get American cigarettes in Japan? Uh, depends on what you want, like uh, Camel and I forget the other name of it, but yeah, you can get some. Well, you get Marlboro here. Marlboro, very popular, right? And we're down to 20%, so that means I gotta charge the phone, which means I gotta find a ledge and uh, take you guys around a Sakusa a bit. Is that Yamazaki Bakery related to the famous Yakizaki Pan? I have no idea, A1. Ah, oh, what a lovely day. Let the ledge hunt begin. Hedgehog Paradise. I've seen this place a few times and uh, not sure exactly. But I guess they got hedgehogs. Oh yeah, they do. A little hedgehog right there. 
<laughs> Let's look at the girl instead. Pretend we're looking at the hedgehog. I didn't realize hedgehogs were so small. That's funny. Kind of, kind of cool. I'm sure I should see if it's never a sacrifice. I've been, I've been over 25 years since I've been in Japan. Risa, no worries, girl. Thank you for joining when you can. I appreciate it, I really do. Ah. Local Yoshinoya. Which is pretty cool. They got, this is a pharmacy. An actual local pharmacy, which is, you know, decent enough. Gonna sign off for uh, now, gotta get editing. All right, dude, I'll be popping over to your channel in a bit. How much is that hedgehog in the window? <laughs> and, oh yeah, by the way, guys, another one is done. Ah, feeling really good, too. I think you need to buy a portable LED somehow. You should invent one for me, A1. That would be pretty awesome. So as we're walking down here, you know, you basically got to walk down to this corner here. And this is where, like, most people know Asakusa. So I am walking from Tawaramachi Station. <laughs> most people just go to Asakusa Station. Of course, everything Asakusa is basically in here. You'll see the sky tree right at the end of this road. Kind of, I think. Yeah, there it is. See the sky tree coming in. So if you, if you guys are familiar with Sakusa, you know exactly where I am now. Family Mart. Oh, Beer time? No, I'm going to wait. But mind you, Family Mart's are way better. So yeah, this is... Uh, Sensoji Temple, the start is way down there. So this is like one of the main roads and then this is the other main road. Basically everything that everybody does is back in this area, the 10, 20 block radius or whatever it is you call it. So it's all pretty cool. You remember walking down here, Mike? I still need cigarettes, I do. So maybe I should go in here. Uh, let me see here. That kanji there means alcohol or sake and they have tobacco. So yeah, I can go in here and uh, get some alcohol. Hold on, be quiet. Okay, William, another beer. Here we go, boys. Okay. Oh, they got a bad beer selection. Damn. The Sapporo wasn't that good, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Just getting into this one. That's the Kirin. I'm looking for the one that I really like, but I can't find it. I was thinking about this one here, but it's a 6%. The blue can is premium malt, which I do not like. I think I'm gonna get this one, guys. It is a 6% beer. And I've never tried this one, so let's get this here. And, uh,
Taylor. Found a ledge. Got cigarettes. 510 yen. Oh, you. He put tape on my cigarettes. I don't understand that. One piece tea, yes, it is. I never knew what one piece was until I bought it, though. I might have to change over when I get down to 10% so the stream doesn't go crazy. But uh, yeah, let's go. Tape was probably to show you bought it. Well, no, that's exactly what it is, I think. Because, you know, they do, they do put it on the beer family mart. But I've never seen it put on cigarettes before. So. Uh, should we go get a ledge and have a beer or go into a sacrosanct? Maybe I find a ledge and uh, charge the phone. Not exactly sure. <laughs> she scared the hell out of me. Damn, I'm going to walk over this way. Take you guys into a Sakusa area. Someone wanted to say hi. Girl. 945 yen for a pack of Marvels here in California. I think I just paid what? 700 and something for a beer and uh, Marlboros. So, William, I got another beer. Go get another beer, bro. You want to get me liquored up? I'm going to get you liquored up. <laughs> Girl just camera bomb. Well, actually, off camera, she smiled at me, and then I just kind of bombed her at the same time. So, which is still kind of funny. I love land. I love random live streams, guest appearances. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so I am walking. I'm gonna walk into the actual back streets of. Uh, oh, dude, what's that? Beer on me. Thank you, Relic. Arigato gozaimashita. Honto ni arigato. You guys are awesome, man. I think it humbles me, it really does. $25 a pack in Australia. That's what I heard, actually. William, stop it. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> oh my God. Thank you. My face is red. Like, it really is red. I get embarrassed, I don't know why, it's weird. I'm standing. I actually was uh, here about a year ago, and this store is famous for shoplifting from Chinese. Now, I don't mean to be rude um, or anything like that, but they actually are famous for shoplifting here, and I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, but it's very windy, so I don't want to be on the ledge here. But good, good eye there, uh, A1. I'm gonna go down here because I know what's down this way. I wanna show you something. It's just so nice to see you smiling again. Oh, Mindy, or Mary. Sorry, Drew, I have to go. Hey, Joyce, I hope you're doing well. Um, I hope your family is doing well. I love you. Thank you for joining, really. Wow, it's gotten windy here all of a sudden, people. So, again, here, um, I shouldn't, I should have went in and caught me some goods. <laughs> well, that's right, you're Chinese, Mike. <laughs> no, I don't know why, honestly. I don't mean to be rude, but uh, in the news every week, I actually was here filming it and I just didn't make the thing. But can you see what's ahead here, people? Can you see it? The hub. Jazz Live. Now, I've never been here because they have a 1600 yen cover charge or entrance fee. And I don't like it. I really don't. But this is a more of a jazz club from the hub. You can see here Monday to Saturday, their hours. Today's cover charge, 1600 yen. 
obviously the band's got to be played, right? This is the Jav Live House, Asakusa Hub. And I've just never been interested to actually go here, so... I have no idea, Bayou. I really have no idea what they play. Because I'm not familiar with it, to be honest. So now we are actually entering into Asakusa, into the tourist trap area itself. We've got 83 people, 61 likes. In the next minute, if you haven't smashed that like button, please do. Let's see how far we can get up there. Come on. This is the start. And I'm actually going to change over to uh, the thing, which means ledge time. Because I got to charge my phone. Come on, people. 63 likes. Come on, we can do it. I'm going to live stream until we get 100 likes. Or at least I'm going to try. I don't know how Mickey gets so many likes on her live streams with so few people, like less than 50 people. I don't know, there's something, some sort of a trick or something. Okay, <laughs> ledge, see it, see it. I hope I'm not gonna uh, be disrespe disrespecting anybody. Yes, it's a ledge, John. Okay, wait, John Marinos, have you joined my Discord? Are you the JNS I was talking about earlier? Smash the like button as soon as I sign in, awesome. likes and stuff yeah I don't know don't get it uh, for any of you that are new to the channel you always wonder if what I vlog with I actually vlog with just this Panasonic uh, what is this a W 580m camcorder that's all I do um, I don't need you know it's, it's it's got decent quality hey Pedro how are you I'm doing really well are you the JNS John are you JNS I'm trying to figure out who JNS is um, but yeah, that's all I vlog with. Uh, you know, I used to have a DSLR. I used to have an action cam. Hey, Hen Hen. Um, and honestly, my style of vlogging, keeping it real, on the spur of the moment, you know, whatever you want to call it, it's like, it's like, boom, ready to go. Focused, it's all good. So, yeah. Let me uh, take this off. Because I have to put on. Oh my God! Did I forget? No, I'm not JNS. Okay, gotta put on the cell phone attachment here. Is it hard to live stream without a gimbal? I am interested in broadcasting a cherry blossom once it comes. No, it's not hard. You know, you could use a gorilla pod. Uh, you can use whatever you want, really. But just give me one sec, people, because I need to really get this set so that I can charge my phone. You are now off the gimbal or stabilizer or whatever the hell they call that. Better grab a snack to soak up those beers. Yeah, you're probably right, Tim. But it's me. I did bring my charger. Got the charger, but I'm gonna change cables actually. Uh, usually I use this cable here, but today I uh, I brought like a, a two meter cord. Ha <laughs> ha! Uh -huh. mm. Oh, there we go. This is why I can put the charger in my pocket and forget about it. Whoa! Almost lost the cord already. All right, let's get, and it's still, I'm in the side alley and it's still freaking. see how long this thing is? And I know Nasha Broad and I were talking about getting a new gimbal uh, where I can keep my phone charged at the same time. I hope this is gonna work. I hope so. This is the gimbal that I use. You guys have seen it before. Oh, I gotta shut it off. Alrighty, I'm back. Hey, Tim. <coughs> so now we're gonna go head into Asakusa. Um, 
Packed everything away in my bag. Is that a smooth four? Yes, it is a smooth four. I don't use it to its full maximum potential. Um, the leaves are so green because they're fake. <laughs> they are fake. <laughs> they're very fake. But actually, they do look really nice, don't they? When I watched the replays, it's I would have loved to have commented on that. Ah. Thanks for the tour. Hey, Mambo, thanks for joining. Okay, I can finally open the beer and see what this tastes like. Uh, William Logan and uh, the Relic and William Krauss and Ram. Hontony, I appreciate it. I really, really do. Um, this is a, just a Kieran. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but it's 6%. So cheers, guys. I just bought a DJ Osmo Mobile 2. Love it. Bring it with me on my Tokyo trip in two weeks. Awesome, John. Oh, much better taste than the, than the Sapporo. Much better taste. Oh, I guess I don't really like more light lager style things, I guess. We want you to enjoy yourself, Drew. Cheers, babe. No, cheers to you, Logan. Really. And Kraus and uh, Tim. Ram. Ramsey Silent, sorry. And uh, the Relic. And, you know, to all of you. No, not just the people that super chat, really. To all of you, to everybody in here, to everybody part of the crew that subscribed, that just even views and doesn't subscribe. I appreciate every single one of you. I really do. <coughs> oh, all that phlegm is getting out of here. Cheers, emoji. <laughs> and you know, if Crazy Ann was here, she'd be making all kinds of pictures about me and stuff like that. So. And as soon as I'm done this, I got to go over to Food Mystery Live and uh, check out their Paralyzer video. I think, I think it's a good thing, this uh, Vancouver connection, you know, uh, my love for these guys. I don't, I don't come across many channels where I really like, wow, I love these guys, or I love this person, or, you know, so on and so forth. But I think it'd be pretty cool, you know, what they do, and then maybe, you know, if I ever get back to Vancouver, I'll go to Burnaby, but I Mike, but I won't go to frickin' Slurry. No, it's just not not in the cards there. But it'd be pretty cool to, to even uh, vlog with you guys, even not in your house, Mike. But um, you know, just doing a vlog style kind of thing, right? Go down to the old spaghetti factory in Gas Town. <laughs> I can't believe it's still there. <laughs> um, I was back in uh, two thousand. 16 was the last time I was in Vancouver um, and uh, I went and saw my son. He lives in Slurry, um, but I told him to meet me in Vancouver. <laughs> and of course we hung out um, in Gastown area. And then um, of course I used to work for Edgewater Water Casino, which is now Park Casino. Um, so we went and gambled a bit and it was pretty cool. So when is your next overseas holiday, Drew? Um, I'm probably going to be going to Canada uh, this summer, but I'm not going to Vancouver. I'll be doing the Toronto, well, Hamilton, and Kitchener, Ontario area. That's where my brothers and sisters live. So I'll be doing all that kind of a tour there. No, you never saw me at the Ed Edgewater. Um, and the reason you never saw me there is because when I worked for Edgewater Casino, they weren't there. We were at uh, Fraser and Marine in the old Blue Boy Hotel, whatever it is called now. Uh, we were called Grand Casino at the time. I quit the casino in 2001, so 18 years ago. Um, then they moved about two or three years later to Edgewater, and now they're Park, so. We need to meet you sometime. That'd be pretty cool, right? Drew, hop, when I hop on the bus, do I swipe my Suica card? Or do I only do that when I get off the bus? No, you, when you get on a bus here in Japan, uh, you get on the back of the bus and you touch, if you have a Suica card, you touch it. And then when you get off, you touch it again. Um, if you don't have a Suica card, you just grab the little piece of paper. It'll have a number like one, two, three, or four. And then when you're getting off the bus, you look up at the board and it'll be, you know, say it'll say one, two, or three, or four, and it'll show you the cost of that ticket. So whether it's $2, 250 yen, you know, whatever it may be. Cool, I may come up and meet you in Hamilton, not 
too terribly far for me, Drew. That would, you know what, <coughs> William? I'm seriously thinking about doing uh, in August. Uh, my family is really asking me to come home. It's been about two and a half years, two years and a bit since I've been home. Two and a half years by the time I go back home. So, dude, I would like meet Niagara Falls, go to the casino, get drunk, you know, hang out. That'd be pretty awesome. Hey, Brandon, how are you? If you're ever in Toronto, I hope I can see you. If I'm in Toronto, I would love to see you, meet up with you, A1. Um, I will, like seriously, I will do whatever I can to meet up with any subscriber, any viewer, any friend. Like, I really will. That is just me. Like, when Ramsey Silent comes here, I'm going to do whatever I can. Not to bug his agenda, but at the same time, force his agenda onto my agenda to make sure that we meet up and hang out and so on and so forth, so... That would be pretty cool. Uh. What advice would you give to people newly starting on YouTube that's worried about haters or trolls and those who are constantly worried about criticisms in real life? You know what? You gotta suck it up. Um, there are assholes out there. There are, there are trolls, there are people that just wanna ruin your day. Um, you know, uh, you all know like Reddit uh, tries to attack me all the time and <clears throat> but I'm, I'm a little bit smarter. I let them do it. Like, not, not that I let them do it, but I, I play to it and it gives me views. And I bet you some of you, some, not you guys, but some people that are subscribed to my channel are actually from Reddit. So you got to just be able to be strong, thick skinned. Um, you got to just, you got to roll with the punches, man. Like, just don't let it bother you. Um, because everybody has an opinion. Every asshole has an opinion. Plain and simple. And you know what? This might be beer talking now, but um, it bothers me. It really, really bothers me. And sometimes I want to quit YouTube. But it's because of you guys. You that keep me going. And appreciate the fact that I have a community that like what I do, whether I'm ranting right now or walking around or doing whatever I do. And that's why I, I can just dismiss trolls and keep going and be strong. I hope that helped A1, I really do. Hey Stu, how are you, man? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Okay, meet you at the roller coaster then. Uh, LMA? <laughs> how are you, bro? And Alame is one person I really want to meet. I've already, I met Andy Stubbs. Uh, people here in Japantown Facebook page got angry because I said Gaijin. Is that a nasty? Yeah, supposedly, but it doesn't bother me. You guys going out for Nato after the roller coaster ride? <laughs> and that guy from Tokyo. Hey, that guy from Australia. Oh, Watermaker, how are you, bro? No, I don't let trolls get to me. I really don't. Honestly, personally, behind the scenes, it bothers me. Online, yeah, I'm all right. And like, I check Reddit every day. And uh, I just laugh. I just laugh, I really do. Because it is what it is. Do what you do and don't let negativity get you down. No, absolutely, I don't. I'm pretty positive, I think. Well, in my own crazy, screwed up way, but hey. It is what it is, right? Trolls make me mad. You know what? If trolls make you mad, then it is what it is, but. You know, it can't be helped, right? So, all right, it's gonna be shaky because now we're on the gorilla pod. And of course, you know, I'm standing in a bit of a back alley. This poor lady here, the Chinese restaurant lady here, is trying to get customers, but it's not working. Oops. So again, this is the uh, Kieran beer. I think it's just regular Kieran, but it's 6%, so I'm not exactly sure what difference it is but it uh, tastes pretty good. And I'm getting hammered. Where's Shinichi? Shinichi, where are you? I'm actually gonna go down this way here. Really can make you stronger. It's not working. <laughs> Dude, you're killing it lately with your channel, so keep it up. Thank you, Stu. Really, I appreciate it. What was that big noise? Uh, I just stepped on something over there. Let's go down here. This is what I like exploring. Sorry, I'm going to try and keep it as steady as I can, even though I'm getting liquored up at the same time. 
The Americans found out that the Japanese were calling, so they started calling themselves Gijin, so now it's not a bad word. Yeah, it is what it is. He may sneak up on you. Yeah, you never know where Shinichi is. Looks like we're in the back alleys of somewhere. I'm not sure. Looks like the back of a vegetable mart. <clears throat> Dagger is real. And then boom, check this out. I've never seen this before. A little shrine in the middle of nowhere. Like seriously guys, we're in the, an alleyway and boom. Yes, John. Drinking beer anytime is awesome. That's pretty cool. Like, what the hell is a shrine doing there? This is why I love exploring Tokyo, guys. Thank you for the nice heart to heart. I really appreciate your answering. Oh, and Shinichi must be sneezing right now. Let's not call his name. Yeah, pretty much. Zen in the middle of a busy civilization. So again, you're gonna get all kinds of different things. I know where I am. At least I thought I, was, I did. This is the back of the loss in here, which is, uh, as you walk in there, that'll take you over to the uh, main area. I thought I was right near the Rastafarian bar, but I'm not. See what's that? Oh, it's down here. So Tokyo Lens Norm uh, Nakamura um, used to hang out at a bar down here. Very friendly area and uh, pretty cool, really was. I'm just trying to find it. It's, I believe it's this way, but I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Well, maybe, maybe it's down one more alleyway. But if you guys do ever come to uh, Tokyo, uh, into the Sakusa area, a very uh, friendly Jamaican bar is here, and it's still pretty cool to uh, go and drink. Yeah, I can't find it. I thought it was right here. I guess not. So yeah, let's go take you guys over to uh, the main area and uh, finish up this live stream a bit. And by the way, I'm the only foreigner walking around drinking beer. Everybody else is looking at me. You see the bar in a lot of videos? Oh. So we are walking now into one of the main shopping areas. <coughs> it is. Are we back? Are we back? I can't walk where I want to walk. I don't know why it's blocking me. I don't have, I have Wi-Fi turned off and everything. That's really weird. Huh. Well, that sucked. Okay, I'll try one more time. I, I tried walking right here, and then it started going on me. So, let's try again. I hope it doesn't buffer. I really hope it doesn't buffer. We're at 72 likes. Come on, let's get uh, up to 80. So again, this here, from a Sakusa station, this will take you straight to a Sakusa station. Um, and this is all a shopping alley area. It's covered. Um, one of the more popular places here. Is telling you to stop live streaming? No. You still call yourself a foreigner after 12 years? Not really. And yeah, let's go this way. I actually used to shop uh, at a few, at this shoe store right over here. One of the very few places that have size 12, 29 centimeters. 12 is, I think, 30 centimeters. But sometimes their shoes are so big and it's cheap. 25 bucks I'm looking at right now for all any of these shoes here. Yeah, I think so, Cindy. Maybe you could be right. But of course, these are, oh, my favorite store. I need a wig shop. <laughs> Kimono Obial. 
Pretty cool. Lots of fake jewelry. Wow, 30 centimeters. What was that? 30 centimeters for a shoe size, that's gigantic. Dory Streets, I like them. I got a pair of sneakers for 600 yen. Trying out for a snack. I'm going to close YouTube and restart it on my end. <coughs> Am I not back? In a wig. Fake chain in a wig. I must be back if you guys saw that. <laughs> Lots of uh, stores here. I'm okay? Okay, thank you. Here's a, a Taiyaki shop, not my favorite. This is mostly uh, red bean and sweet potato. I think they do have a couple other flavors here, but uh, they, cater, uh, they cater to red bean and sweet potato. Um, you get your, another sweet shop over here. And then you're just gonna come out into all this area here. Now I could walk down there, but it's kind of busy. And I don't really want to. Because I've see, I've shown you this guy bef guys before, but if we walk this way, we'll still get over to Nakimise Dori. And I'm telling you guys, the lineup here, these are all those bubble tea stores. It's such a big fad here in Japan right now. I don't get it because I used to drink bubble tea in Vancouver like 25 years ago. So I really don't get what's going on with all the Taiwanese teas here. Let me get out of the way here. Is it still buffering, guys? Uh, I have to show me where the sumo wrestlers are. You're all good? Okay. Sorry, I just, uh, you're more crazy than before, really, eh? I used to go to uh, 45th and Camby, across from Oak Ridge Mall in Vancouver. And I used to get a bubble tea place there. I think it was back in like 1995, what was that, 24 years ago? And now it's funny how, you know, different fads and different things phase all the time, which is pretty cool. All right, so I'm standing here in front of a building. Now, Hollywood has their walk of fame, uh, the hands and the feet and all that. And this here is Japan's uh, style. You have all the uh, hands of famous people here. And it's just hands. No idea who they really are. All the schoolgirls. Oh, she found somebody. <laughs> yeah, I got that nosh. <laughs> Girl in the uh, ki yukata or kimono. And then you have another shrine right here also. Which is still pretty cool. And you have the owl girl standing here. <clears throat> they have an owl cafe obviously close by. Now, as you're walking around here, this is an area here. You got couples that walk around. I wonder who she's talking to. Hoppy Alley is over there. Uh, you guys are probably quite f familiar with it. But we're gonna walk this way. I'll show you the temple area and I'll come back around and... Uh, sorry for the wind, guys, really. It's a beautiful area. They always say no cameras here and all kinds of different things. <coughs> This shop here is uh, very famous on the weekends. Lineups like an hour long. No idea why, can't be bothered. Look at the owl, another owl sitting there. That's pretty cool. Love the Dory shopping arcades in Japan. What's up with the owl bars in Japan? I have no idea, Larry Hernandez. Uh, cat. You know, cats, uh, what is it? How, how do I say this? Uh, cat, dogs, hedgehog, owls. I don't get the cafes here. I really don't actually. <coughs> On the left here, we're coming up to a uh, famous place. Shinichi and I were here. 
Uh, it's, I think it's the Minchi Cuts uh, place. Uh, very, very tasty it was. I think it was like 200 yen or 300 yen. I'm not gonna wait in line. It's, uh, it's th this place right here. And then they used to eat over here and something about uh, women in kimonos and yukatas. Love it. Absolutely love it. Wow, lots of people wearing kimonos and yukatas today. But yeah, this place here, this place right here is what Shinichi and I tried. And very famous, very delicious. Like freaking delicious. And made cafes. Yes, Bill on a maker. Or maybe it's this place. I don't know. Then we're coming up to Nakimise Dori. The, uh, you know, for anybody familiar, obviously, with Asakusa, this is the major shopping area from the gate to the shrine, which I absolutely hate walking around. It's just a bunch of crap, souvenir gifts, you know, another tourist trap uh, kind of style thing. Any doggy daycare places in Tokyo? Not that I know of. Well, yeah, no, they have hotels and stuff. To attract customers, yeah. So, tour guide. Tour guide. I wonder if she's Japanese or Chinese. Hmm. <laughs> so, again, you know, if you look up, Nakimise Dori is all down here. I'll zoom in a bit and it's just store after store after souvenir store and as we turn around we're gonna walk this way Shinichi and I actually walked along here earlier uh, about a month month and a half ago or whatever but then you can see the beginning of the shrine up there and that's the most popular spot of course you're gonna hit all these different stores which is pretty cool you know you come for souvenirs and stuff yeah I get it. I even shopped here, you know, 14, 15 years ago when I first came to Japan. I didn't know any better. <laughs> Don't think I would do here. It was like you were stopping for a funeral procession, almost, right? This place here is very famous. Um, I don't think he's making anything. Nobody is here, but he's starting to make stuff now. He's adding uh, the stuff on, which is pretty cool. But they are a must if you're in Tokyo and it's only gonna get worse with them. Yeah, like you can't avoid all the uh, tourist traps here. So basically he fills it up and he's gonna cook it and he's gonna rotate and rotate. And by the time you get to the end, see that? And then he'll fill up one more and put it here. And that's the finished product, guys. Pretty cool, eh? That's pretty cool. He's making um, like a little taiyaki with uncle. Red bean. <clears throat> school little, little school waffles, yeah. And then the finished product is going to look like this here. So that's what it is. Good to have that job in the winter, yeah. <laughs> Keep nice and warm. Is that Niniyaki? Niniyaki? Well, it's like, I, I don't know what that is, to be honest. Uh, I call it like just a little taiyaki, but yeah, pretty much. I hope you're keeping up, William. I'm, I'm I almost finished this beer now. Oh, this here, deep fried manju. I got this with Shinichi last time. Oh, ningyo. Oh, yaki. Oh, sorry. Yes. This here is awesome. It's deep fried manju. I always get the custard one, but they got like pumpkin and standard sesame, sweet potato, custard cream, 
That's the one I get, uh, if you guys can see that there. They got chocolate, curry, all kinds. Like anywhere ranging from 130 yen up to 200 yen. Like the standard is uh, 130 yen. The curry, chocolate, standard cream, custard cream are the ones that I get. Those are gonna be more 200 yen. But yeah, deep fried manju is really awesome. He's got some there in his hand. These two girls here are eating. I'm gonna photo bomb them <laughs> or video bomb them. That's pretty much what they're eating here. Sounds like a plan. And then this here is the temple, the start of the gate here. Pretty awesome, eh, guys? And very big picture uh, place. Now, I don't know much about the history, but if you can see, there's one here and one here. These are the protectors of the shrine. Uh, there's a big story about them, which I'm not going to get into. Everyone is invited. Is that Kaminari Mo? Yes, it is. Okay, wait. What's what? I would spend my whole vacation there eating. Yeah, I bet you would. Hey, Mohammed, how are you? I didn't see you there. In the summertime, when they have certain festivals, these places all here are packed full of food stalls. Obviously, today is nothing, which is pretty cool still. <laughs> and then as you walk in, uh, you're going to have your medallion shops over there, souvenirs, whatever. Here is where um, you can buy your fortune. Um, you pay a dollar, you shake the little steel box, which maybe we'll find somebody that does it. And then you get a numbered stick and then you go to the drawer of all these drawers here, you get your fortune. If you have a bad fortune, you can tie it on here to try and change your luck. And that's about it. And you can see here like all the uh, things, it's not numbers, but all symbols. So you gotta be careful as to which one you uh, actually pull out here. They do have uh, the Omikuji. So basically it says here, dropping 100 yen. A few times, make sure your number and put the stick luck. Take out a sheet. When you draw a good fortune, please take it home, but you should not be careless and arrogant. When you draw a bad fortune, please do not worry. Tie it on the hanger and drop bad fortune off of here. And that's what they mean is tying it on here. So hopefully that helped you uh, to understand, like when you come to Japan, you see people do this um, as to why uh, people do this. And Sanjumatsuri then going to Osaka. Oh, Sanjo Masu is gonna be crazy. I was here at Sanjo Masu last year with Tokyo Lens, and I'll be here again this year. Again, here is the uh, incense where, uh, you know, you can basically try to purify yourself. There is where we wash, uh, wash your hands and stuff. But still, some people do it, some people don't. Here's where you can actually wash uh, your hands and do what you got to do here. It says, please do not put in your mouth directly on the dipper. But, uh, you know, it all has meaning. You can see that she washed her left hand and now her right hand. Now she'll probably pour the water in her mouth and you, when you do it, you tip it up to get released all the rest of the water. And then most people line up to go into the shrine to uh, to pray, which is pretty cool, right? When you said pigeons, I uh, screeching would be the sound of birds and pooping on the station. Hey, Save, how are you? They're getting ready for the Sanja Matsuri. I know it's coming. All these things are coming up here. So, Zero, hi, how are you? Thanks for joining. <clears throat> also, during festivals, you can go anywhere. Um, looks like some Russian girls are dressed up. 
and Yukatas, they probably dressed up and uh, away they went. You want me to take a picture for you? Yes. Okay, guys. I'm going to take a picture for these beautiful ladies. Where are you from? Uh, Hungary and Romania. I knew it was Europe. I said Russian, sorry. <laughs> the blonde hair. Uh, sorry. Oh, go back. Oh, sorry. Photo. This way or this way? Close or not so close? Okay, okay. Oh, let me try to get that. Hey, cheese. Hi, cheese. Please check. Please check first. <laughs> I will try again. It's hard to do with one hand. I just close my eyes. Okay, I'll do again. I'm with these ladies here. They are killing you. No, don't be. Don't worry. No. Oh, come on. All right. Yeah? Okay. All right, ready? Three, two, one. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. All right. Hopefully that works. Thank you so much. I've had a few beers, so. Yeah. Are you visiting or do you live here? We're visiting. Visiting? Well, please enjoy. Thank you. All right, take care. All right, that's what I took pictures of, so. Uh, yeah, let the drunk guy take that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm trying to be nice. For me, I can't call them. For me, so I can call them. They were trying to do selfies and I just thought I'd try to help. Just thought I'd try to help. Okay, so the shrine all back in here, right? I know it's windy, I'm sorry. And they're still doing selfies right there. My pictures probably sucked, but hey, I tried. They said they can crop them, so that's okay. So I grabbed some of my homemade curry smoked chicken salad. Homemade curry smoked chicken salad. Oh my freaking god, that sounds so like awesome. Watch the part of the video later. You're a good guy. Why well, thank you, Jason. Pigeon. This here is another shrine. Not enough people actually come here. Very quiet. Thumbnail. Very peaceful here. And this will take you into the back of Asakusa, <laughs> which, as you all know, if you've seen my Asakusa videos, um, it, it's freaking amazing, right? You could probably take every one of those Japanese guys. Not sure what that meant, but... Um, so yeah, we're walking into here. How beautiful is this? Actually, you know what, TD Crew, you guys might be getting a postcard from here. How beautiful. Like really. Later, Andy. Don't throw anything in the pond. Lots of koi. Gotta love it. And this is like one of the smaller temples. And this is what I love about this area is exploring things that are not so touristy, I guess you could say. <coughs> you know, obviously we're, we walked a hundred meters away. I snatched that up, kicked the gullum. Not sure what that meant. Um, the oldest amusement park in Japan is right over there. I'm not going over there though. Who is, what is Zero saying? I'm not catching this. How many eight-year-olds could you fight off? I'm not getting what you guys are talking about. Yeah, you, 
They're missing a decent sized croc to go in that water feature. <laughs> You're a good guy, no matter what everybody says. No, really, everyone says you're a... What are you guys talking about? I really missed something. Okay, somebody, please summarize the last five minutes of conversation. Because I was busy kind of showing you guys stuff and really missed the chat, so I have no freaking idea what you're talking about. I had a smoking area, by the way where I can actually smoke and not feel guilty. Uh, How far am I gonna go? 140 minutes. It's just a silly question my friends sometimes ask. How many eight-year-olds would it take to take you down? Oh, you started that, Nosh? Oh my. (laughs) How many eight-year-olds? Well, I am 265 pounds, I'm six foot three. (laughs) Two? <laughs> I have no idea. No idea. But I don't look six, well, okay, I'm six, two and three quarters. I think I had that conversation with uh, Wanamaker one day. How are you, six, two, six, three? No, six, two and three quarters. But I am 260 pounds of... Pillsbury Doughboy. Go frickin' figure, eh? Drew, drunk hot girls take photos, now confused. That sums up five minutes. <laughs> yeah, I love you, LMA. Every Japanese guy is scared shitless around you. Ah, who knows? I have no idea. Zero. I don't know if I could hang out with Drew anymore. He'll make me look like I'm a midget. <laughs> I'll get on my knees. I'm probably still taller than you, eh, Mike? Oh, but I'm bam. So, I want to get one thing correct now that we're 140 minutes in. My intention was not to drink alcohol today. <laughs> I miss Shinichi. Oh. I'm hoping he's going to be on TD Talks. He said, remember the last live stream? He said he would be, but I bet you he's not. It would be nice, though. Mm. Okay, I'm four beers in. Who else will pay to see him punch a Japanese dude in the mouth? Delete that comment, please. No, I don't want that in here. Thank you. Zero. Got it. Thanks for joining Zero, but at the same time, I do, uh, I do uh, keep my chat pretty clean. And uh, even even though it seems like harmless chat, yeah, I I have a certain way about myself. So sorry if I offend you, but um, I'm apologizing for your comment. But <coughs> at the same time, yeah, there's just certain things I don't want in my chat. That's all. So I hope you understand. He loves you so much not to be there. At Zero, that's your second. Is it really a second? Keep your questions and or comments. Uh, we do not, in, in the TD channel, we do not put up with anything. And I don't care whether I lose views, subscribers, whatever. We are a community. We respect each other and the questions that we ask. That's all. Cindy and Cindy. Okay, maybe it's the beer talking, but I had like, I saw two Cindy's in here thinking it was the same Cindy. Yeah, we only have violence when it comes to plasma and building trains. And that, they got chats where you can do that sort of thing. No, absolutely zero. Hey, no worries. Hey, just don't be offended. Um, and I've been in sort of those chats too, right? Um, the only things that are permissible is uh, making fun of me because... Everybody makes fun of me, um, especially LMA, who is a very good friend, a TD crew member, a supporter, and a freaking Australian retard. Um, oh, what? But, um, <coughs> yeah, plasma lighters and train wrecks. You'll, you'll get it if you watch some of my previous videos and or hang on to the channel. Hey, Vivita, how are you? 
<laughs> I told Shinichi his mom is going to kill him if you show her in the family photos on TD Talks. <laughs> Pretty much. No, the last big guy I made fun of gave me a crooked eye. Ooh, that sucks. I used to do prime rib. Oh my God, prime rib. You know what, honestly, you know what I miss from back home? Prime rib, Yorkshire pudding, horseradish. Oh, har, 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 har. I got a buzz happening here, guys. The only time I'm drunk on my live stream is with Shinichi. Well, there was just that one when I made fun of you, then you, then I sent the lighter and you took care of the rest. <laughs> yeah. I don't eat at the keg, uh, Bill, or Mike, whichever one you are. Um, I'd rather cook it myself. To be quite honest. And prime rib, a lot of garlic. Oh. If you end up in San Francisco, let's go to the house of prime rib. Dude, I would, poutine, yes. Um, if I am ever in any of your hometowns, I will let you know. And uh, I would, like, I'm not going to put a camera in your face, but I would just love to meet you. And uh, like Nosh Abroad, I would, I just want to meet. I missed him last time he was here. Um, cause I know he met with a few people, but, uh, that'd be pretty cool. Get an Insta read through and check the temp every half hour after the first two hours until it hits 165. You know it, baby. Brussels sprouts. I actually had a bag of Brussels sprouts from uh, Costco, uh, last month. They were, <laughs> peel them, well, take the outer skin off. Slit them in the middle, not, not all the way in half, but a bit. Boil them up, refry them in butter. Oh, add bacon even, my God. Amazing. All right, we're gonna go, I just, oh Maria, thank you for joining, how is Denmark? Is that it, yes? Maria, I've, I've had like four beers to me on this live stream, so. I'm feeling kind of woozy, not woozy. I'm feeling good. What a great morning all. Thank you, darling. All right, so we're gonna walk this way. <coughs> this is the back end of a Sakusa that nobody really sees if you're not gonna explore. Uh, uh, Kito all the way, I lost 90 pounds, can eat all the steak I want and still drop the weight. That's awesome, good for you, baby. And I told you guys I wasn't gonna show you the uh, amusement park, but guess what? I'm, I'm like half a block away. These are all old stores. I, they must own these places because there's not much business. Even on the weekends, it's not that busy, which is really weird. And for all of you, all well, things are good on your end. Good, Maria. The oldest uh, amusement park here. Uh, it's very small, not very busy. That's it right there. You can buy a good poultry rub at Wally World, rub it down under the skin and top skin, it's worth it, I bet it is. So again, this is uh, that drop thing. Uh, they have a bunch of stuff. It's a thousand yen to enter, and then you need to buy your ride tickets. So is it worth it? I don't think so personally. You're all talking about uh, prime rib. And then there's all these little streets uh, that you can find, so on and so forth. And these girls just like basically bomb me right away. So why not keep the camera on them? They are Vietnamese, it looks like. So yeah, that's the amusement park and two girls. All right, let's go. <laughs> the last thing I'm going to show you is uh, my favorite area. Uh, you guys have seen it before. It's probably not that very busy because it is a Tuesday morning. But on the corner here of this area is a uh, dessert shop. It's got melon pan. It's got ice cream. Everybody comes here. Everybody takes pictures. It's one of the uh, the better areas. You can see that... It goes like all the way down and we're gonna go inside and walk. Oh, 
Only four beers, yes, only four. <laughs> Again, okay. I have no idea why they have the, the bread on their head. Oh, it's plastic, okay. I thought they were actually using real food. Then they have, I have no idea what they're doing over here. What are some of the, are the taboo comments here in live streams just so we can be a good member of the TD crew? Ramsey Silent, can you please answer that A1's question? It's better that you do it than I do. Take, bye bro. Hey, okay, bye. I have the chicken rub, that's super, da 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 da. So yeah, that's, uh, and this is the store that I'm talking about here. We're all taking pictures. It's kind of funny. This is uh, famous for melon pan, just bread. Well, they walked into my stream here. That's what they're doing there. Okay. And then this is the area that I absolutely love, but I'll step back here. <coughs> this is uh, Ketsu Kagetsudo. Uh, it's been here since 1945. I want some more. I went here, oh, did you really, Mike? Awesome, I'm glad that uh, you could relive the memory through my live stream here. But this is very famous area. Um, I had it one time, but yeah, I think uh, the maple melon pan that I had with Shinichi in Koenji was a bit better. They have a shooting game here, 350 yen. This is the uh, catching the fish with the paper net into a box. If you guys have ever seen this. What you do with the goldfish after that, well, who knows? They actually put in a paper, ba a plastic bag with water, and you can take them home, whatever you want to do. Well, I'm glad uh, you got some memories, Mike. And then, of course, as you're walking, there's going to be all kinds of just different shops. Most of them are closed until the weekend. But, like, even, like, you know, when you come to Japan, experience, like, little shops like this. You know, like... How awesome. It's fake, yes, but it looks pretty good, right? Looks like a stew of some sort. Some foreigners are in there eating. And as I walk backwards, like, that's it. A guy fries them up a few stalls down. I love to cook, eat, and especially smoke foods. And we're going to hit Hoppy Alley in a minute, guys. So, uh, as you walk out of here, this is where uh, I've shown you guys my favorite money store. You know, these are just stores. <laughs> Guy riding a bike in the middle of nowhere. You got the Samurai store. I don't, oh, it is open, too. <coughs> of course, they're not real, real. Obviously, authentic, authentic samurai swords, but uh, hobby swords, whatever you want to call them. There's all kinds here. Ranging from different prices and stuff. I always see this Japan sword here. $200 only. Hey, Nancy. I'll trade them in for a gift. Oh, okay. You got the, I don't know what these things are called, but I'm sure some of you know. And what's really cool is one day they actually sell ninja stars here. So that's pretty cool. buying ninja stars. I'll throw them at LMA. And then these I think are plastic, yeah. These ones are plastic for 190 yen, so. Japanese style ice cream. Two bucks, three bucks. Not bad, eh? 
Am I in a bad connection? Because if so, I'm going to run out real quick. So stay with me, guys. Sorry. Is it still bad? <laughs> I hope not. This here is my uh, money store that I love to come. Of course, you all know, well, some of you know, I like to collect different coins and uh, money from around the world. Yes, if you want to send me some of your currency, by all means. But check this out. This here is a 200 yen bill for $500. And then you got all the coins. Hey, A-Team. And all kinds of different things. <coughs> Wait, see what's that? Right. Uh, camera, that's over. All right, thank you. So this is what I want to show you guys. They have a stack of 100 yen bills. There's a hundred of them. Or no, wait, what is that? One hundred, a thousand. So that is a thousand dollars, and they're selling it for one thousand eight hundred and fifty. This is what I like. Isn't that awesome? Lots of coins. This is in the back of a Sakusa. My favorite money store. I've bought a few things from here in recent year, in the past years. Even down to, uh, that looks quite interesting. Coin set for 20 bucks, 1992, pristine. Absolutely pristine. 2,500, that's from 2001. If you are into coins, like, I would love this. I would just absolutely die to have that. It's not for sale. So, yeah. That's what I love, guys. I, I can't turn the camera around. Absolutely love it. This is uh, a very lonely karage shop. It's actually busy on the weekends, though. I was watching a reality of Shinichi and some troll had him do a name shout out that was a racist that he didn't know and made mods let him know I had to look it up on Google. Uh, well, everything might be for sale, but I know that that piece isn't because I asked him if it was for sale, I think about two months ago when I was here off camera. And he's like, no, not for sale in English. And he knew, I think when he saw me, he smiled. Before I asked him, is it okay if I film, like show you guys, he smiled at me. He knew who I was because I'm always there. <clears throat> I actually bought um, a 100 yen bill for $5.80, no, what was it now? 540 yen. It's a $1 bill, but uh, I really wanted part of my collection. Um, I have so much different things over the years. Um, I don't actually put it on display. I should show you guys one day, but I, I have um, some... Uh, Sweden money and uh, Hong Kong, all kinds. So, um, and I, I like I always say this: if you if you want to send me uh, one of your uh, currency from your country, it is for collection. Uh, but don't send me like a hundred dollar bill. Of course not, right? A uh, dollar bill or something would be pretty cool. Um, I know I've got a few American two dollar bills. I still don't understand the two dollar bill American thing. Um, and actually, it was funny as yesterday, or two days ago, I actually got a gold $1 million American bill. Obviously, a souvenir thing, but it was freaking hilarious. Okay, going for my fourth beer. Okay. Wait, I've had four. If I go for my fifth, that means you got to hurry up and drink your fourth. <coughs> Wait, am I lost? I'm not lost, no. All right, so we're hitting Hoppy Alley. I said I wasn't gonna come here, but you know, I say what I say and what I do are two different things. This is an area where everybody can drink. Okay, five then, oops, I lost count. <laughs> and basically, everybody just sits out and drinks. It's pretty cool. 
It's twice as valuable as a one dollar bill. Bah! Good atmosphere to drink in these places, obviously. Not all of them are open, which surprises me. I have quite a few two dollar bills and a bunch of silver certificate bills. Lots of coins too, I collected with my daddy. I don't know what a silver certificate bill is, but it's 5 p.m. somewhere. Absolutely. This uh, is quite interesting, I have no idea. Oh, he see how they did a Korean barbecue thing and now he's spraying them to get the smell off or make sure that they, f they f feel fresh. Yeah, this is uh, kind of a, or Okonomiyaki actually. Sorry, I thought it was Korean. Okonomiyaki restaurant. Hi, Sue. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. I actually drank in this place uh, last year, which is still pretty cool. And you can see like these, you know, these places are kind of like deep inside. It's yakitori, teppanyaki, tempura. Watch over the truck. So it's still pretty cool. Very, very enjoyable to drink and eat around here. Which is still, you know, that's what everything is here. I'm not looking at the comments, people. I'm sorry. I know you're talking about yourselves. <laughs> clothing store now you would think this place here would be busy because it's at the beginning of it but it's dead completely dead and I wonder why it makes me shake my head like if I was coming into Hoppy Alley and I was like coming walking around here wouldn't that seriously William oh my god mm, I love you bro I really do you as well <laughs> I, I gotta change the title of this thing to Let's Get Drew Drunk. <laughs> William Logan, you are a beast, and I'm gonna actually email you because I'm gonna say it right now. I wanna send you something special for all the support you give me every live stream, all the super chats uh, every month. Yeah, but I'm gonna wait till I sober up, but I'm gonna take care of you, bro. I really am. He is amazing, he really is. Drew's mods are the best. Drew's TD crew, Maria, you are the best. Everybody here is amazing. You really all are. Oh, A1's got another question. Do you feel Japanese people frown upon drunk people? Nope. It's different in Canada, especially in terms of drinking with a boss. You don't want to get drunk. Um, A1, drinking is the norm here in Japan. Whether I'm drinking on a live stream, whether you're drinking at work, uh, Drinking is very, very social here. Like, seriously social. Everybody gets freaking drunk in Japan. That's just the way it is. Um, so many streams to catch up on. Here. Are we okay now? Maybe I hit a dead spot. Are we okay? Are we back? Are we back? Are we back? Come on, tell me we're back. No, I'm charging, I'm charging my phone, guys. I might have just hit a dead spot back there because you do hit that when you're walking around a lot. Whoa, I just lost 40 people. Holy Christ. Well, that sucks. Thank you, Asakusa. <laughs> Went from almost 80 people down to 40. Ah, Sayaka. They'll be back. Yeah, I'm not worried. And now we're coming out to uh, Don Quixote. I'm going to show you real quickly. Uh, Shinichi and I went here. Kicking and screaming. <laughs> oh, we're getting back 41. Well, I am going to go soon, guys, because it's almost been three hours. My goodness. <coughs> but just remember here, Don Quixote. Too late. 
Is it like a department? Don Quixote. See this place over here? If any of you are familiar with it or not, this is where Shinichi and I got the huge onigiri, which I couldn't finger, figure, finish. Oh, back up to 47-ish, 49, here they come. This is the place here. This place is freaking amazing. The best bento place ever. And they don't have, oh, they do have it. Check out the size of that onigiri. That's the one that Shinichi and I got. And a lot of these onigiris are very, very cheap. You even have the microwave down here. But you're, we're talking like $3, $4, if that. All for these bentos. 250 obviously the sign says here and up. But it's it's amazing. Those big onigiri can range from anywhere from three to five hundred. And they got all kinds of different foods. And like 250 yen for 200 150 to 250 yen for any of these foods here. Like freaking amazing people. Like seriously amazing. Now, William uh, challenged me to a beer, so I have to go get a beer. I have to. I'm not gonna disrespect William at all. Just gotta find a freaking store. 7-Eleven right here, but I knew that. <laughs> and this is the store, the 7-Eleven. Oh my, this is exciting to see. Can I teleport there? A1, you gotta be here. A1, you're, if I remember, you're 28 years old, you're Japanese, living in Toronto? Is that what you're saying? If I remember that correctly. Okay, let's go get a beer, it's busy. I got a fart. Fart through 7-Eleven, and then blame the guy beside you. <laughs> Ooh, check out this. They actually have a 7-Eleven beer. 7%. Crop dusting. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get this one. 7%. I'm gonna be like trying to get home and I don't even know how to get home. No idea. I tip it. No, come here. Oh, Dan. Lots of people. All right, got my beer. So three hours into the live stream, five beers, not too bad. Thank you, William. You're a beast, bro. Oh, we need a ledge. Okay, what were you guys saying while I was talking here? Just giving her a mm, uh, mm, poster. Uh, we could all walk you home. We we save what? Crop dusty. I saw all that already. That's hilarious. Cheers, Drew. <laughs> People say I'm a bad influence. William Logan is an amazing bad influence. <laughs> I have to uh, find a back. I gotta go pee. Ah. Oh. Okay, well, how many minutes are we in here? 170, so I'm gonna go for a little bit less than 10 more minutes, and I'm done. I just gotta find a back alley to go pee. 
No, I'm not. I'll wait because I know the store that I'm going to. But I am going to go over here. How picturesque. Sky tree. Sky tree. Oh, I farted. Okay, the alcohol is getting to me. Mr. Ledge, where are you? No, I don't want to be taking you into the toilet with me, A1. That's why I don't go in the conveni. <laughs> I see lots of ledges, but they're part of uh, places here, so. I'm looking for the inconspicuous ledge where they won't kick me out. Lots of ledges, lots of ledges around. Nobody would have what? Stolen us though. Fresh because froze last left off at Genki Katsu, now doing Indiana Drew and search for the ledge. <laughs> Pretty much. True, thanks for not taking us in. Peeing outside is always also awkward. It's not that awkward. Well, not if you're mean anyways. You know, it's, uh, it, it can be awkward, I guess, but at the same time, it's not that bad. You know, like, uh, you realize I'm going pee right now, right? <laughs> Oh, William and Logan, what have you done to me, dude? Oh my God. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Yep, I can tell because I'm, I'm standing against a wall. <laughs> Mindy's mom, you're so special. You're lucky you got like two peeings in the same stream which I don't usually do. Uh, it's all William Logan's fault, man. Damn. Okay. <laughs> okay, I haven't found a ledge, but... <clears throat> oh, I'm going to sit here and uh, finish up the stream because, well, as I drink the beer. What a blast it's been today, guys. Um, saw a, a bus ad for dog food. It said your dog is filled with love, gassy, gassy love. Oh, interesting. William Logan, number five. Cheers, bro. Oh. Oh, oh my goodness. I hope I can get home. That's all I worry about. So, um... You know what, guys? Lots of stuff coming on. Come by. <coughs> Uber. No, God, I'm, I'm like, train ride, I'm an hour from home right now. So uh, Uber would just be like a $200 taxi ride at least. Um, I will be going home after this. Uh, trying to uh, seriously make, uh, finish up the vlogs. I got like three or four vlogs coming up, uh, some are for the TD crew only. Um, Drew doesn't drink beer, plenty of time to sleep, yeah. Um, I am keeping it real, absolutely. Um, I'm not gonna be anything different just because I'm on live YouTube. No, this is me, this is what you get. Um, I will be vlogging the Thai festival this year, uh, like I do every year, which is actually one of my most, uh, Oh, no, I, I don't drink to actually, like, I'm fine. I have a good buzz going on, but I'm fine. Thai Festival. I might go live uh, on Saturday. I'm hoping Sunday Shinichi is going to join me like he promised. If you guys remember my live stream with Shinichi, he said yes, but who knows. Um, and the train wreck. Yeah, I'm not sure about the train wreck gotta get on it um, but honestly guys when I get home and I start to relax uh, I take my medication 
Um, I get sleepy and it's just like, ugh. So he is occupied with family, of course. Um, Like I said earlier on the Discord last night, like I was just not feeling it. So yeah, that was why, right? I want to channel my dad. Call me when you wake, make it home. Maybe do a quickie stream to let us know. Oh, join my Discord, Cindy. Um, by the way, I took, I took second in a poker tournament one. Today, 350, freaking awesome, Bill. I'm happy for you. I really am. For Wanamaker, $350 in a, in a poker tournament. Cheers, bro. This is for you. Absolutely. I miss playing poker, by the way. But yeah, all of you guys, like, join my Discord. You can chat with community members, with me. Um, you know, you can make fun of the pictures that are posted in there. We now have, I think yesterday I started a uh, language thing, kind of like High Hopes Tomoko is talk, talking Japanese. You can go in there and talk Japanese or whatever. Um, I have a caption this, where um, if you go into the caption this channel, um, crazy lady or whatever, Anne from Norway, uh, is it Norway? She posts a picture of me and then everybody captions it. So like if I give you a middle finger you know, some people are like, oh, I'll pick, looking for a loogie or, you know, whatever they say. Um, so, yeah, join the Discord, guys. Um, I'm a Ludlite, only YouTube and Facebook. Um, all, you don't need... It's, uh, Discord is just like a website or whatever. Ah, what the hell? Something just flew in my face. Did you see that? Llama, Llama Karen, I don't know. Um, but by all means, join if you want. <clears throat> you can talk with other community members at any time. It's pretty cool. Yeah, big black thing, right? I actually do like Discord Notch. Uh, we have voice channel, um, which I'm not going to be joining after this live stream today. I think Discord, I, I can really uh, come a zucky bug. I'm not sure what it was um, but yeah I think you know discord is actually bringing the community together also if you're a TD crew member or a patreon member we have our own room uh, to talk amongst ourselves and I'm gonna try to you know try to figure out what I can do for the TD crew mantra um, more so like maybe doing a, uh, a group video uh, for TD crew members only, you know, something along those lines. I, it takes me a long time. I have all these ideas, but I think I need to talk to like Wanamaker and Logan and uh, Nosh Abroad and uh, Ram and a few other of you guys to try and figure out what I'm going to do. Oh, there's Simon. Can you hear me now? You're all pixelated. No, wait, I should have put my glasses on. <laughs> that zombie girl, how are you? Um... Oh yeah, Simon, I found out what the problem was with our stream the other day. So, um, watch my rant video from yesterday and you'll see why. But whatever you're, basically in summary, whatever you were doing on your end was Skype, was slowing down the actual Skype call, which was slowing down the OBS, which was slowing down the OBS to YouTube and the problems with YouTube. So yeah, it just wasn't a good time for us. So let's have you on again because... Um, I'm glad that Jackie saved the day at the same time. And um, I want to do a proper show with you to give you that respect, Senpai. Oh yeah, and Simon, I'm five beers in, so. <laughs> and I did not plan this. It's all William Logan's fault, William Krause, Ram, and the Relic. It's all your fault, plain and simple. It's not me. I crack under pressure. <laughs> to my 12 different paranormal Facebook posts. Do, 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 do. That counts as a house. And you know what? If you guys haven't subscribed to Simon Nochama channel, um, you know what? I felt good, like, even the few of you that did. I think he got, like, at least 15 subscribers. 
Simon has an amazing show on Saturday night, Japan Standard Time, 8.30. I'm not sure what time that is for him and or whatever, but you know, he has a lot of guests and holy shit. That's what I'm looking at, all these pigeons up there. Wow, I just was wondering what the hell that was. This is a good drunk he has going on? A little bit. Um, by all means, like, sometimes I can join just, it's Saturday night, 8.30, so I'm usually busy, but Simon sends out links if you're friends with him on Facebook. Um, by all means, check it out. He, he does have a fun show. And I was on it, and like, Eric Surf 6, and Tomoko, and Ozzy Awesome, and not just other YouTubers, but creators. And that, obviously, Simon is the reason why I started my TV talk show. Um, and that's why I wanted him on, so. Cheers, Simon, if you're still here. I'm almost done this beer too, damn. How did you find Drew Crew page on Discord? Uh, press on the Discord link. That's all you need to do. Simon, you know me, I drink lots. But we'll get back to the uh, next beer. Oh, God. <laughs> Done. Ah. I don't think I've drank this much beer in a long time, actually. Okay, like, I don't know what these pigeons are doing. They're freaking me out. They're freaking me out. Hello, pigeons. Hello, pigeons. Hello, pigeons. Brrr. One's a female, one's a male. Who wants to get jiggy jiggy? Are you gonna get it? Come on, bro. Get it, get it. She ain't having any of that. I do smell like hops, my God. Oh. It's all your fault, William Logan. It's all your fault. What pigeons we don't see, no pigeons. <laughs> Rats with wings. Someone needs a love hotel. <laughs> His stick is too small. <laughs> Not that hops, hey, easy. Okay, guys. Three hours, another epic live stream. They must. They really must. I'm going to sign off because it's, uh, what? Three hours, about 2.30 in the afternoon here. Awesome, Mindy. Mary. It has only been 15 minutes, I know, right? <coughs> oh. I gotta sober up. I'm gonna go have a coffee, uh, make my way home, uh, work on some vlogs. And like I always say, um, for three hours, yes, Simon, this is what I do. I'm a streaming beast. Wow, that's what everybody says I am. I don't know if I really am or not, but. Um, I don't think I'm gonna do the train wreck. I say I am. Spur of the moment. Depends on how I feel tonight when I get home. Um, please take care. Please make it home okay. I will. I will. 7.27 a.m. Awesome. Let's get that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, again, William, you're a beast, bro. Uh, when I sober up, I will send you an email. Um, William Krause, The Relic, and Ramsey Silent, thank you so much for the support today. Uh, I really appreciate it. Cindy, Cindy and Sandra, um, Tim the Dude, Tim the Asian Inc., uh, everybody. Everybody that's jo John, uh, John and John, Mary, Bob, Billy, the whole bit. Wanamaker, I thank you very much. Food Mystery Live, Mike, Food Mystery Live, Bill, Mary, Jen, Carlos, like everybody. Thank you so much for joining. I really appreciate it. You guys really rock and you make, you really do make my YouTube life amazing. Keep it real, keep it raw, stay true to yourself. Here it comes.
join the Discord. If you want to help out, join Patreon. I appreciate it. Looky Lou, thank you for joining. And uh, everybody else that joined. Keep it real, A1. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And, oh, Ram, seriously, dude? Food, coffee, now shut up. <laughs> Hi, well, cutting my stop. There's my little bit of Japanese that you'll hear me speak. Uh, Cindy Murata and Cindy Nguyen. I hope to say Nguyen right. Nosh, um, everybody, thank you, seriously, thank you. Um, I hope to see you soon, uh, whether it's tonight and or tomorrow and or whenever. Keep it real.